back my pussy and my crack. That's the one. Cupcake. Um, is she uh, is she popular? What? I didn't know. The the artist name is Cupcake. The artist name is Cupcake with two K's. Yeah. And the reason she's pointing out those areas are she wants is a, some oral attention there. The back and the crack. I don't know. Usually that's where you get a wax, a back sack and crack. You know, they always, Pitchfork gave her best new music. Yo, we're in a new, <laughs> we're through the looking glass, people. Okay, well, I'm apparently out of touch, but I'm just trying no, to say. No, me too. I'm with you. What are we playing today, Ryan? We're going to uh, open by playing Wizard of Legend, the new hotness roguelite that is uh, a lot of fun so far. And then in our final uh, section, we're going to play some Jackbox. What are we going to do in the middle? That's for you golfy. to find. It's, it's golf, yeah. <laughs> little golfy, golfy boys. Ooh. Tiny little boys. Itty bitty little bitties. itty bitty. It, it really Tiny should be itty biddle. I think that sounds Ittle better biddle. than litty, itty bitty. Skittle my diddle. Well, I'm not a squirter. I cream, so just be careful. Um, give me a moment. I'm not here. a squirter. I just cream a lot. <laughs> she does also say head of the dick, duck, duck, goose. There's nothing wrong with it. I mean, I'm just, it's confusing. Um, we got people for golf, too. I think Austin's going to show up for golf, and then there's, like, some Jackbox following that that he'll be here for, and then Bear might show Rob's up for golf. That's what Rob's in. There you go. We got a, the whole crew. It came together in three minutes. It did. Because I, I actually forgot to tell uh, Chad, but I told you, Nick. I actually thought that the show started at three today. Yeah. I don't know why. It, I know why is that I woke up, uh, like, an hour and a half earlier than I normally did. Or normally do, I should say. So my time anchoring is all like askew right now. So but also really, for like three years, didn't we do the show at six? Yeah, yeah. Days? It's weird though that I've regressed into that mental state. I sometimes still can't remember which day is Cobalt Day, whether it's Wednesday or Thursday, and I have no idea why because it was only ever one. We did have like two years of uh, of Wednesday Cobalt. Did we? We did. Oh, I completely blocked that out. See, <laughs> well, you know, <laughs> we should all be so lucky. Um, you have a long tutorial ahead of you. Like a yeah, I'm running through a museum right now. There's some zombie people. I'm going to give you what I should do, or what the tutorial should be if you really just want to. Yeah. So you have like six slots in the bottom left. Left is going to be yeah. like a basic attack, space is a dash, right click is an arcana, Q is a signature arcana. Basically, you get these magics that you can customize and put on that quick bar and use them for attacking and then as you go through the game it's just a basic roguelite for the most part so you'll cool. you'll figure it out pretty quickly i think do i get the infinity gem soon uh nick they're called infinity stones whatever they're gems <laughs> don't be a nerd about it what do you mean don't be a nerd about it that's do you think thanos is a nerd about what they call them he's like i'm just happy they're on my knuckles right now i'm just saying thanos probably doesn't go into the collector his office, I forget what planet it's on, and go, hey, planet give me an infinity gem, because then they might give him the wrong thing. Maybe they give him some some trash that nobody cares about, like some Thor 2 garbage. I'm pretty sure he would know if it was Thor 2 garbage right away. Well, I don't know. Dude, do you think I should go as Thanos for Halloween? Yes. You Is gotta it? ruffle up your chin a little bit, though. Well, I'll just use, like, some body paint or something. I got a lot of that lying around. It's not every day that you get to add another costume into the bald pantheon. And I'm actually being sincere. Like, it's been Lex Luthor, Stone Cold Steve Austin, Captain Jean-Luc Picard, yeah, Hitman fits as well. And then, like... I have like, a name other than Agent 47? He's Agent 47. Like, an actual, like... Was he a person before he was a Hitman? Yeah, he was Dwayne. He worked Wait, at, really? He worked at The Source by Circuit City. Okay, you're joking. I thought maybe his name was actually Dwayne. I was going to lose my mind. His name Dwayne... <laughs> His name was actually uh, Agent Bordy. Nah, it doesn't make any sense. Anyway, Somebody must know his actual name. I guarantee it exists. You could be Drax. I can't be Drax. Have you ever seen Batista? Batista does not have a human body. Drax is weird looking. First off, he's got blue Harry skin. Potter. Secondly... He has really cool runes all over him, though. I like he that. He does. But Drax, like, Batista has an inhuman body. And I mean that in a very positive way. Like, the dude is incredibly jacked. But I, I can't aspire to that. I can't get there by October, at least. i give it your best. Maybe you land somewhere else like Hitman. I think I would land... I, I, if I got lucky and I worked my ass off, I could probably look like Jeff Bezos by October. 
And that's progress. That's not bad either. That's that not bad. Like a bajillionaire, that's what, so. That's what I'm getting at. It's not that bad. But, you know, uh, you've got to work out for at least one year before you look like Batista. How do I get out of this tutorial? I got to the part where there's, it's roped off and there's oh. nowhere left to go. Um... There's like a shield here. Oh, I was supposed to look at the shield. Okay. Yeah, no yeah, yeah. Just just interact with things and press F and you'll, you'll it, get yeah. through it. You should know as well, chat. I am like extremely bad at this game, but I'm doing my best. I really am. Isn't Batista like 60? Yeah, like 60 kilograms of pure clean muscle. Oh, just dodge right yes. off the edge. Is Ooh. there dirty muscle? Well, you know, he could uh, could be a doper. Oh, yeah. Not that there's necessarily anything wrong with that. It's for the scientists to decide, I suppose, but... Well, ethically, if you're going to compete with other people, I think there's something wrong with that. But, it's, but in terms of your own body, it's up to you. As an actor, does it matter? Like, if you're no. on steroids? No. I don't know what I should say to that. So, uh, I, mean, I have not decided my answer to that. I always thought the steroids thing is like... It sounds... <laughs> I don't know where I want to go with this either. But aren't steroids, like, largely kind of a victimless crime? Only when you're talking about competitive athletics. In that case, there is a victim. And that's yeah, the but, people. like, it's not like it's illegal worldwide in order to make competitive athletics more fair, I'm assuming. Ooh. Yeah, I guess. It's more about the degradation of your body, yeah. Yeah, I mean, your balls shrink a little bit. And oh, I mean, that is a pretty big deal. Oh, I mean, some of us, you know, we could use it. They should invent ones that make your balls grow, because that... <laughs> then it would be representative to your muscles. This is a, a real question. If you're a man, and you take, like, an estrogenic compound, do your balls get bigger? I have no idea. That doesn't, that seems backwards to me now that I th But why, when you take steroids, it's testosterone, and your body's like, uh, cool, bro, I don't need to make any more of this now, so your balls just yeah, shrivel up. Yeah, your balls atrophy, but well, it, the idea Because they don't, you don't need them anymore, you're just getting it from a, from a different source. But introducing estrogen doesn't solve that problem, so your balls would likely remain the same. So you're telling me what I, would I should stop eating edamame for the purposes of making my testicles grow larger. Uh, you know, that's that's your life. <laughs> you know, victimless you crime, like I said. I won't judge you if you like that. That's all good. Does not work. You know... So this, this is my first time playing this, and I basically get exactly what to do without having to look at any text. That's great news, because uh, <laughs> I... Other than the shield bit. <laughs> everything that, I've, that I could say to help you, I've already told you. Okay. That's fine. I'm actually quite thankful that this tutorial was fairly short because I played Swords of Ditto last night and mm. that had another one of those, and not like a whopper of a tutorial, but like it was a little too wordy and long yeah. for my taste. Oh my God. Please Game seems all right though. Just, I, I think I prefer the action to start up a little quicker. I'm with you, dude. Well, that's it. Like I just want every single game on planet earth to have essentially two mechanics. <laughs> yeah, I want, I'm not I want like attack, away. block, and heal, and that's it. Um. I also played Overcooked with Lin, and that was a hell of a time. Uh, Overcooked is like the best designed video really game fun. in human history. I hate the pirate ship, but other than that, it's pretty cool. What level is the pirate ship? The way that the setup goes, it swaps every so often when the ocean rocks. So, like, if you're chopping stuff, all of a sudden you're going to be on the other side where you're, like, pulling Oh, uh, yeah, cause it, because of, like, the, the motion of the ocean, right? You kinda, yeah. yeah, I remember. Slides all the tables around do you, you realize you are talking to the pax east tournament winner of overcooked oh i part didn't know of, you did that part of the squad that won Congrats. four razor headsets at pax east that's why you had those that's why we have those it was me kate austin mathis? and i think it might have been mathis i kind of remember it being austin and mathis and i was like what are those two doing together yeah you Something doesn't seem right here. <laughs> Something sinister is happening. Something sinister is a brew. The yeah. Avengers never meet like this. All right, so I've died already because I Dude, was an idiot. It's actually like, it takes a little while. It's pretty tough, I think at least. I should but probably use my Q you sometimes. Should, what you should do is uh, they give you like 100 gems to start with. 
So buy like a bunch of Arcana. You mean stones. A uh, hundred infinity stones, exactly. <laughs> and then you can use those, to, and what seems like really cool about this game so far is you can use those to like tailor your starting run in the oh. way that you choose. So like not any two runs have to be the same. At Feels least. all right though. Feels nice and smooth. It's yeah. got a bit of a dungeony feel too, although uh, the graphics are a little bit more rough, but in a good way, hey. like an 8-bit kind of way. I think it looks good. Yeah, it looks fine. It doesn't have the same kind of lighting as Gungeon, I'll give you that. I'm guessing this is oh. probably not actually a 3D game overlaid with a 2D perspective. Perhaps. I got my this ass This may be kicked. true 2D. All right, let's try this all over again. It's Reminds... cool to be a wizard that's a badass. Maybe. I'm, I'm on the side just yet. sit back. I'm just being honest with you. You know, I know we had the conversation about dragons. And yeah. I was kind of, like, in my opinion, unfairly maligned for my opinion no. on dragons, which was pretty much agnostic. Um, you you know, came I'm down pretty hard on dragons. Well, I'm neither know. for nor against them, okay, is what it comes down to in the end, is at least Dan in my Giesling? world. But... I think I found a picture of Dan Giesling and I broke it. <laughs> now, game. that would be the spookiest thing like I've him, seen in this okay. game so far. Um, right. I gotta say, not really that into wizards either. What's your deal? Like, oh my why god! You, Actually, like just this. kill me. Just just throw boulders at me <laughs> until I die. Just throw some boulders at. Me. I'm ready to go. So like, Doctor Strange is not someone you like. Doctor Strange is pretty cool. You probably like his cape more than him, don't you? No, I think his cape is definitely substantially worse than him. But the worst okay. thing about him is definitely his goatee. Please just murder me. <laughs> but like, on, when I was younger, if you give it, you get the choice between like rogue, wizard, barbarian. 100% of the time, I was going for wizard because I was a nerd and I was like, this guy's like me. Now, dude, barbarians are so much cooler than wizards. It's just a really strong dude. He's taking yeah. hits at all times. The wizard is not strong at all. He's just a baby with a book. He's in intellectually superior. Isn't that your life to be that guy? Maybe that's why I hate him. It's like too close to the bone. <laughs> you know what I mean? Real. Rogues are cool too. I don't disagree with you on that. Sneaky guys. But I don't know, barbarians, they get a bad rap. They're using... They turn muscle, or they turn food into muscle. Oh, I don't like this at all. So they're alchemists. Yeah, exactly. They're like food they're alchemists. alchemists. And then, they use that muscle to chop things in half. That's so much cooler than just like saying some right. magic words and then like some spirit from the outer realms, you know, does your job for you. That sounds pretty cool to me. Nah, not that but cool. But if you want to go like D&D &D, uh, RP level wizards, I'm not really into that either. Like stay, stay in fireball and throwing a piece of paper at stuff. <laughs> oh, like that's Mathis about style. as far down the rabbit hole of not cool that I can think of personally. Well, you know, I, I respect Real you for wizards, having though. a brave Real opinion wizards. that is probably going to anger about 1% of chat. In Sorry, this situation, chat. but you know what? How can you save something, say something so controversial and yet so right simultaneously? I just crushed that box by walking near it. Yeah, and they actually, unlike some games, um, Gungeon, there's gold inside of those. Oh, sick. So there's like an actual reason to do it. Well, in Gungeon, they're filled with little bits of wood which go everywhere, yeah. so that's cool. I mean, they look cool. We don't yell fireball. <laughs> Whatever Real wizards say. don't yell fireball? What well, is... it comes around the other side, right? Because, like, Goku would yell his special move. Yeah. Or, like, anyone in Street Fighter would yell his special move. Why is it stupid when a wizard does it? I mean, I, you're the one who said it was stupid. I just, I, I think all wizarding is kind of dumb. So, like, opening a portal to hell that pulls arms out, that, like, locks your enemy to the ground, you think that's stupid? Well, like, here's the thing. Necromancer? Cool. Hey, if you got Mancer in your name... I'm I'm for you, honestly. I think if you want to be a little pedantic, there's a way you could put Mancer at the end of every wizard. Yeah, exactly. But then what they've done is they've committed to one magical archetype. If you're just like, oh, I just so shoot... you like specialists. Yeah, I shoot beams <laughs> of light from my hand. No, who cares? No, I care about that. Though that's nature's railgun. I like that. Chat, work with me here. What happens if you have all three portals when you fight this guy? Does he get easier? Does he get harder? Does it make no difference? Is this just to indicate how much of the floor you've done? You tell me. Fucking magic missiles. Also, Nothing this wizard happens. seems to slice a lot more than he shoots. 
Mm. What are you using the wind arcana? I'm using red. Red. Uh, red Riding Hood level. Ah, uh, no, no, no. Like your your LMB attack. Oh yeah, that's it's a slice. It's, it's got a slice. Win. I'm using that too, but I've seen other ones. Like, you can have like a, a basic fire arcana. I'm sure you can have like a basic oh. one from every element, but you have to buy them like in the game. Uh, oh shit. On the run, or maybe you can find them. For what have gems I done as well? <laughs> I went into a room and there were three portals, and I hit the black thing, and now the bosses are. Everywhere. Yeah, that's that's the boss door. You're good. Okay. You're good. That's that's a normal progression. It seemed like I was doing something wrong. Nah, you're get good. out of there. You're good. So there's like meta progression in this, right? It's not just like get better. Uh, I think. Well, I think it's like get better. But um, also, I don't. I don't know if your weapons and like Arcana improve as the game goes on passively, though. I think you can get a different variety, but I don't know if if any of them are stronger or weaker. Right. I have no idea. Oh, I'm willing to find out. This I, seems exciting. I essentially have no clue. All right, I believe Nick. I countered something, which was awesome. I'm going to let you make a decision here, Nick. I beat the boss. Sandals, rocket ship, stopwatch, shield. Those are your options. Sandals, rocket ship, stopwatch, shield. Um, because I like you, I'm going to give you shield. Shield. I feel like those other two All are right. going to be a, like a mistake. I'm really. actually going to need you to choose... Either sandals or stopwatch, because oh, I don't have why? enough money. You don't have enough money. <laughs> uh, I guess we'll go sandals then. All right. Guarantee it's a speed uh, upgrade. I am uh, using low latency. How low is your latency got with that? I don't know. I haven't checked yet. I, the last we checked uh, the other day was oh, like geez. two seconds maybe on average. People I, with tablets say it's a little longer, like four seconds, hmm. but I'm fine with that. Dude, I'm like, I'm happy low latency exists. I'm in no rush to enable it, because I kind of take that, like, seven-second period be between what I say going out there to the masses as, like, it's like my uh, Super Bowl Justin Timberlake Janet Jackson buffer. <laughs> if something goes horribly wrong, yeah, I could just, <laughs> just like, literally pull my power cable out before the, the data gets transmitted. Could you, could you get to your power cable in seven seconds? I would, if, depending on what was said, I think I would put a rush in. Just like straight up facial, it's your screen. That would be bad. You'd be in there. I would. I would not be happy. I would. I mean, yeah. I, mean I, I would probably just hit the overlay as quickly as possible. But we'll see what happens. I guess. Yeah, I would also hit the overlay. I'd be worried about damaging my computer. Uh, Let's go. Swamp Arcana. I don't know what that means yet. Uh, that means you have an existing equipment slot you could re replace with something else. Okay, so I went into my tab menu, and it looks like I can do stuff there. Cursed Sharpen Stylus. As of right now, we're pretty much at the same level of acumen. Okay. <laughs> so I think you're... Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, you're, it's you and chat, basically, on your own. Oh, that's cool. Arcana equals spells. That makes sense. Yeah, correct. I remember in Arcana Heart... That's a fighting game where you play as wizard ladies. Yeah, yeah that uh, they all have me. spells too, so that makes sense. Also, they're like the tarot cards. Nick, can I ask you a personal question? Uh, as personal as possible, please. Yes. Did you hear Yanny or did you hear Laurel? Is that what you put in Discord? Because I didn't hear either. What did you hear? I did not listen to it. <laughs> okay, well then... Should you I stop what I'm doing and listen right now? Because I can do that. You weren't technically lying, I suppose. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah? Should I have been lying? No, no, it's all I don't know good. what we're doing. I'm going to go listen to this yeah, thing go, now. Yeah, so it's, it's a personal conversation. thing. I'd like to know where you stand. Like, whether you are part of the one true god of Yanniism, or whether you're a Laurel heretic. Laurel. Fuck. All right. That Fair was, enough. like, 100% Laurel. Yeah, so apparently what it is is that, like... Am I broken? No, it's depending on, like, your setup... You can either, uh, well, like at lower pitches, it sounds like Yanny. At higher pitches, it sounds like oh. Laurel or something like that. So, it so depends I have more of a your... treble-focused music setup. Maybe, yeah. Because I, me and Justin and Malf were doing it, and 100%, I was like, it's Yanny. It's 100% <laughs> Yanny. It's literally the same way that when you have, when you say it's 100% Laurel. Yeah. When it, whenever I click it, it just goes, Yanny. Yanny. <laughs> 
And I'm like, who are these Laurel idiots that their ears are broken? Okay. But Mouth is uh, Mouth is a Laurel boy, so there you go. All right, that's interesting. So it's the new uh, what color is the dress? Exactly correct. But because of the speed at which things change on the internet, people are already kind of like over it and mad about it. What's there to be mad about? Well, it's like engineered to be viral. Oh. I suppose, which is, you know, you can be cynical about that. Yeah, I think I could do with a little less of that being talked about on the news. <laughs> <laughs> I need more hard-hitting reporting, like, uh, how do you feel about Mario not having pubic hair? Mm, yeah. That or one hit me hard. Right follow, the, follow the treasure map in uh, Tricky Towers <laughs> in order to get one more tier on your battle pass in Fortnite. Yeah, that. Not that I'm, you know, trying to shame any one website in particular. <clears throat> the line inside of that was so good. That tweet was just amazing. Which let me, one is that? Let me find the line again so you can read it back to you. Okay. Why not? Why not? Paranomicon. Paranomacy. 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 I did see the lady. Your attacks on council members are more punishing. Enemy attacks pack an extra punch. Oh, good. Um, I did see the lady in Tim Hortons who took a shit and then threw the shit at that man. Did he deserve it? I would say that just about no human beings deserve that, to be honest with you. <laughs> All right, well, I disagree. We'll see. Uh, we're used to how certain characters look in video games, right? And if they're altered ever so slightly, sometimes it can throw us for a loop. For instance, we're all used to seeing the fluff of hair that usually sits ever so softly over Mario's thick little penis. It's a video <laughs> game comfort we know and love. If for some reason you've been living in the Stone Age, here's a picture of our favorite plumber in his newest adventure, Super Mario Odyssey, and then they show the picture. Yeah. So, I don't know. I'm just glad that other people are reporting the kind of stuff that I'm interested in. Uh, I didn't realize that it was satire until you uh, illuminated that for me there. So now, before, I was extremely <laughs> for it. Now I'm against it. I hate satire, and I think it should not be allowed. Well, you know, like, every year at E3, that's when we all vote on who gets to be a real gaming journalist and who gets banished from the realm forever, so... You just let me know who wrote that article, because I know where I'm casting my vote. Uh, I'm not telling you. They're making a mockery of my industry, and, uh... They're making a mockery out of you! <laughs> in order for me to, uh... Maintain, honestly, the street cred of myself and of my fans, I need to... They need to be banished. Oh, fuck. Chat, what kind of street cred do you guys have? Like, what level? One out of ten? Like, very high street cred? I'll or answer like that minimal? for you. Nobody in chat has any street cred. Then what are you maintaining? The illusion of street cred. 69. Okay, that's a viable <laughs> oh, answer. No. That's a Bible answer! It's a viable answer. <laughs> viable Bible answer. I wish I J. could Smith, stop taking damage. 369. I would read the J. Smith Bible. I think I have a little street cred. How? Let me, what did I'll, you do? I'll count the ways, okay? <laughs> well, I'm going to say street cred is like out of 100. All right? Okay. I listen to hip-hop music on occasion. That takes me to one. Doesn't take, okay. me, to, doesn't take me to ten. Takes me to one. What kind of hip-hop? Mainstream? Uh, I'll, you underground know, counts for more. It, it does. I don't listen to any underground hip-hop, but I do listen to old-school hip-hop predominantly. I listen to Bus Driver, so I think I have more than you. That's not street cred. That's like it's, It might actually be anti-street cred, because I've heard what? the dude rap over a Mozart piece. So that's Yeah, like, that's fucking awesome. It's Yeah, it's the opposite of street cred, though. No, it isn't. What? Absolutely is. I'm not going to listen to JPEG oh Mafia. I don't even know what that means. Bus Driver is anti-street. Right. The dude lives in a library. I can't even fathom that you're saying this, but continue. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Bus Driver goes hard, dude. <laughs> are you kidding me? I like Bus Driver. Just say he's not street. What are you doing? He's not street. Oh, my God. I'm getting my ass kicked. I'm on boss number two. Let's do this. Oh, my God. I'm dead. <laughs> he's still dope, but not street. Anti-street cred? I I'm going to tell him up. you said this. Please do. By all means. You'll lose even more cred. What's the other stuff that gives you cred? I live in an urban area. You live in Vancouver. Yeah. It's like the most expensive city in the world. It's an urban area. I'm just saying the know. density of streets where I live is probably denser than the... Or higher than the density of streets where you live. Well, that's absolutely true. There are very there few streets go. here. That, that takes me to like four. 
as far as I'm you concerned. You also just said dope, so you lose 10 points for that. That probably people. gives me 10 points, to be honest with you, but sure. We'll see about that. Uh, we'll try in the court of public opinion like usual. All right, I killed boss number two. I'm still alive. I hate being bad at this game. Be better? I'm trying my best. Oh, there you go. Being a yuppie in Manhattan is street cred? Dude, it is. You get a little street cred for living in Manhattan. It's not like if you live in Dayton, Ohio, you get street cred. I actually don't know what it's like in Dayton, Ohio. You might get street cred. I apologize to get, the Dayton Knights. Do I get any street cred for being able to do, like, many ICP and Twisted songs? No, that's, again, the <laughs> opposite of street cred. All right. How about Bare Naked Ladies? It, that is even further down the street cred list, like... It's like Mitt Romney's favorite rap song, One Week by the Bare Naked Ladies. So Mitt Romney's not cool. Mitt Romney, not street. Yeah. Which is, you know, I you agree know, with you on that one. Of course. I mean, how could you not? Dude, this new Arcana is actually sweet as heck. Oh, God. I, I have to fight another boss now? Yeah, yeah, like immediately. I hope your trip here hasn't been too terrible. Oh! <laughs> it's a pun. <laughs> That's good, because you're about to get crushed. Earth Lord Atlas with the puns. Mid Romney is not street chat. But if he was, though, that would be pretty cool. Oh. He's got blocks. Is this the Earthbender? He's bending Earth! <laughs> Reference to Avatar The Last Airbender. Plus one street cred. My, uh... My dash is fire on it now, so that's mm. cool, but I died. It's my All right, well, cred. second game, I got to 1-3, so I'm pretty proud of myself. You've basically made it as far as I've ever made it. Sick. You have three street cred if you've ever said dead ass. All right, plus three street cred for me. Uh, like, I've said grown-ass man within the last three days. That does, does that count? not count. <laughs> grown-ass man is like, that's like a three-quarters of a point. All right, how do I get the other quarter? You gotta say it in, oh. like, R. Kelly's voice. I'm a How many street cred do I get for having the best rap from our rap civil war? <laughs> that also <laughs> might be minus street cred. And also, that's insulting to Bear. Oh, yeah, it is. Sorry, Bear. I'm not gonna, like, you know, defend myself in this situation, because I'm, you know, I've got ears. <laughs> I'm not an idiot. But, uh, you know, that's... That's, that's been ins- keeping track. I'm at negative six. It's insulting to Bear is all I'm gonna say. No, I see Bear is my equal, definitely. Mm. Okay, this is one where I don't know what's up. I'm studying the effects of long-term Arcana use. Would you like to donate an Arcana to research? I don't want to, but I want to know what it does. It's going to pay off way later. Does it make potions better, chat? Because it, it was like potion efficacy up, but it, it wasn't that exact verbiage, because obviously that would... Oh, I do have big boy muscles, so that's got to be a few extra street cred. If you've ever said big boy outside of an outcast context, like, that might just erase all your street cred. You might. Oh, just... you say little boy every day of your life. Yeah. So You're what does wrong. that do for you? Does that give you extra dick points? I've decided it gives me... I, mean, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I've decided it gives me extra street cred. I don't know what, what dick points are, but... That's NLSS street cred. Mm. Oh. Big boy dick points. I don't want to be over here. Yeah, anyway, this game's pretty fun. Even if we have minus street cred, we're still ahead of all the chat. That's the most important thing. Yeah, that's true. We do get to play video games for a living, and that's awesome. See, I gotta, I gotta knock your street cred a little bit for that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I feel like uh, anybody that's interested in street cred would probably be pretty excited by that as an option. Eh, agree to disagree. disagree? I guess. All right, you know what? If you live on the street, you're good. You got me on street cred. I'll give you that one. I mean, when they used to pimp the cars, how many PS2s did they put in every car? Like, tons. Yeah. So there has to be a correlation. I could play, like, anything I want. I could play FIFA if I wanted to. I could play Madden all day. Rob does that. You could play the uh, Pimp My Ride Xbox 360 game. Oh, yeah, I forgot they did that. Hmm. Did you do uh, a video on that one? I did do a video on that one. Was that Ghost Ride the Whip? Uh, I don't know what to say about that. What do you? What does that mean? Uh, there was a, an episode you did of Poison Mushroom where you did Ghost Ride the Whip and then you were walking next to your car. 
I don't think that's true. Yeah, there was. Am I, I losing my mind? <laughs> no, no, you really did. I'm not joking. I feel like I never did a video where I ghost rid the whip. You might be thinking of Ashens. Ghost Road. No, it was 100% you, and I'm actually positive. There's no doubt in my mind. Like, I have a bad memory about things, but that thing I remember well. I, did I can do a, find it for you later. I guarantee no, I can find it. No doubt I did a poison mushroom on Pin My Ride. I don't know if I've ever ghost ridden the whip, though. You ghost rode that whip. I don't think so. Wait, someone in my chat just converted to Yanni just now? Mm, yeah, I didn't know that, you could convert. It, it, that's Peanut Butter Gamer. Okay, there you go. I guarantee what? you 100% it was me. I've never watched Peanut Butter Gamer, so no, it isn't. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Wasn't it PBG? No offense to that person, but I have never watched that person. I've watched a lot, if not all, of your Poison Mushroom videos. PBG rode the whip 100%. Yeah, NL is gaslighting me right now. No, I think you're gaslighting me by saying no, I 100% rode the whip. You need me to go find it? I mean, not now, but like after the show. Yeah, I'll find it for I'd you. I'd be interested to know if I had forgotten about this. Um, you didn't have any of them taken down, right? Like, Machinima issues? Or oh, anything? they actually might not be there anymore, because Machinima's oh, going through, like, a, I don't know, some kind of corporate thing, but... Ah. They, they've been going up and down. I don't really get it. Well, I don't know how to prove it, then. See, now uh, this is where I'm... I feel like I'm being gaslighted by no, being I'm accused not. of gaslighting! No, I'll try to look for it. If it's not there, though, I don't think it necessarily means it doesn't exist. I feel like that I would see that gif on the regular on the subreddit. Why? Because every gif, uh, Dragon Slayer Doppelganger gifs show up all the time. I don't think I ever Dragon Slayer Doppelganger got to number one <laughs> in short films on IMDb, and you should respect that. Michael Fox is a fantastic director, and your name's even on it. No, I know, but like, I'm just. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like if, if this existed, First off, I would expect that I would remember it because I made it, but I'll accept that my memory is not infallible. But I, I think someone would have given me a link or something like that. There's there's gifts of me giving the middle finger. You're telling me there wouldn't have been a gif of me ghost riding the whip? Is there seriously no one in your chat that knows what I'm talking about? Well, there's lots of people that say it was you, but nobody's giving me a fucking link. Oh, well, maybe it isn't up. With, with anything you want me to swear to, I will say that I you're, know. You're telling me it was in real life and not in the game. No, it, I never said it was in real life. Oh my god! You were playing a game where you walked next to a car. <sighs> yes, okay, you, you are correct. In that you video... You would know if you walked next to a real car. <laughs> in that video game, there are there is digital ghost riding of the whip, yes. That's what I was talking about! I'm a little mad. Why? <laughs> I don't know. When I did I ever say it was IRL? Well, I, don't I thought it was implied because you said you were walking next to your car. Oh. And then, of course, I thought, you know, when you say you, you mean my human form, not the digital avatar right. in exhibits Pimp My Ride video well, game on the Now Xbox I understand days. why you thought I was gaslighting you. Yeah! yeah it's pretty weird that you would forget walking Thank next to your Thank you, yeah. <laughs> I, was, I was starting to get a little upset, mostly for Peter <laughs> Butter Gamer, who was being unfairly maligned in this whole situation. <laughs> no, I never watched him. The closest thing I know about Peanut Butter Gamer to us is that he had an avatar in a game that we played. There you go with that avatar. And I don't even remember what game it was. It seems like a speedrunners thing. Yeah, yeah, that sounds right. It sounds familiar. I, ooh, what? I started on a different level. Yeah, you yeah. Don't always start. Oh, okay. That's correct. The. Uh... The biomes, they don't really randomize, but they shuffle, I guess. I'm in the dungeon now. I like the dungeon. It's darker down here. Of course. I would never ghost ride my whip in real life. No, it's highly dangerous. Highly, it's very stupid, yeah. I would, I would, in fact... I mean, it looks cool as shit, but I wouldn't do it. It, <laughs> it does look extremely cool. We're I would, still doing street cred, right? Well, yeah. Ghost riding your whip <laughs> is only street cred, though, if you die. If you live, by it's not your own car? Yeah, you have to be run over by your own car. Yeah, that's cool as shit. I want that to happen. If to you me. don't get run over by your own car, it's not cool. It's lame. Do you have to die on the first set of wheels, or is it like, can you make it through? I think it's better if you die like in the hospital later, after like 
Well, or even better, like they give you like a clean bill of health, and then they're like, "You can go. Looks like everything's oh, fine." And then you go. You had home. a concussion, then you sleep that night. And you Precisely. Just... Or you God. go home later, and you have like a stomach ache or something like that, and then you're like, "I don't feel so good." And then contracted tire worm disease. Yeah, there you go. He's dead. Rip. That's yeah. why they call it a ghost ride. You become I, a ghost. I actually think that is why they call it a ghost ride. First guy that did it died. Catch him, Derry. There was a punchline there I was trying to get to, but I couldn't. I was, I was really working on it. I'm being sincere, but I don't think we're at the point yet where this game is, uh, yeah, happening parallel to Just, the usual CPU. Yeah, agreed. I think the the closest I came to a punchline was a too soon. That's how Tom Petty died, but I don't know. Might be a little. Mm. It might be legitimately too soon. I thought he died of heartbreak. I won't back down. That's Elvis. I thought he died of toilet. I really think we should rename <laughs> the phrase, and I know medically they're called, you know, cardiac infarctions or whatever, but um, I don't think they should be called the heart attacks anymore. Yeah? What, what should you call them? Well, it's not like you're being attacked by a heart. Yeah, it's not like your heart's actually burning either, but, you know, we had that discussion I know, already. Yeah. <laughs> I think we just need a better name for it than heart attack. How about pulmonary infarction? I mean, that's good, but it's like, that name's got less street cred than Bus Driver, you know what I mean? No, I don't, because I believe <laughs> Bus Driver to have quite a bit of street cred, as it turns out. <laughs> he has more street cred than I do. I'll give you that. I believe he has more street cred than a heart attack. Wow, dude, I hate this boss. Heart Stroke, that's actually a solid name, because yeah. that actually represents it properly. Also, tomorrow's next great indie game. That, that does sound like an indie game. I got Ice Spear. That sounds cool as shit. I don't even know what I have. I got weird jellyfish tentacles I surround people with, and then... I, I also have a little bit of ice going on, but I'm gonna get my ass kicked. Where did it go? I bought it, and now I don't have it. You might... Uh, did you buy it from the, the gem shop? The vendor with the paintbrush at right. the... in town? Uh, wait, was it a... It was oh, an talk to the book. I have yeah, to talk yeah, to yeah, a yeah, book. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm so bad. Thank you. Talk to the book. How do you feel about Dragon Slayer Doppelganger being the number one film on IMDb? Well, I tweeted about it. Like, I already knew that I was part of something magical as it was happening. So, it's not really a surprise to me. But I told Malf he should start emailing, like, all of the film festivals and trying to get yeah. comps. Like, I don't want him to show off the movie because as soon as people watch it, they're going to realize it's like a room situation. But... If he can get free flights and, uh, you know, an audience and an auditorium to watch Dragon Slayer Doppelganger because of the fact that it's the number one short movie on IMDb in history, why not? Live a little. I hope he can get Netflix funding and he can do, like, a series. You know, you say we. I want to hear more about the backstory. <laughs> Well, I, you know, I'm not actually part of that group, unfortunately, yeah, but it is cool to you know. think the, like, in a tangential way, at least I'm related to it. I, you know, if Netflix gave us a, a couple grand to shoot a, a sequel, I'd be up for it. It'd be a good excuse to see uh, the dude who played the Dragon Lord, who I haven't seen in, like, literally eight years or something like that. I'll work as, like, an intern. I can move coffee around if you need. Hmm. Well, you know, we'll, we'll see. <laughs> I'll do it for the exposure and the credit. I don't really need... Drink a lot of cold brew, so it really, like, it, it moves itself. Did you hear 7-Eleven invented a new can that chills itself? Like, you open it and it gets cold? It has a dial on the bottom, or, like, a lever, and you turn it over, and then in 90 seconds, it goes 30 degrees colder. That is... Isn't that amazing? ...actually really cool. Yeah. I mean, literally. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How does it... it... Took 25 years to develop. Oh, well, that's crazy. They ever I'm hear glad of it a, finally worked out. They ever hear of a refrigerator? <laughs> no, I mean, it's good for, like, when you don't have one of those. Yeah. Say you wanted to go hiking, and you're like, hey, I really want to drink this uh, coffee cold. That's fair. And I've been hiking for two hours, and now I just want to, like, get it over with. I don't know what I mean by get it over with. No, I understand, yeah. I mean, I, I, honestly, I guess I can see the usefulness of this. At the very least, I'll, I'll already give it the stamp of approval for being cool. And I, again, literally. But, you know, I don't see the purpose for it, but maybe it's one of those things where, like, I just, it, it hasn't existed as long as I've been on planet Earth, 
So I didn't know that I needed it. Much like that toothbrush that brushes your whole mouth at once and everyone was a naysayer and now it's popping right, right, off. Right. I used the spark on the boss. I did like maybe half of his health bar in one move. But then he killed me, so it didn't matter. But I know I have gems like working for me now. What on earth? Oh, you're the tailor. I don't like the tailor. Tinker Taylor. You ever see that movie? No, I saw it show up. I was gonna. Is it good? It's good. It's real good. Slow, but it's good. All right. I started watching Lost again with Lynn the other day. Mm. I watched up to like season three of that when it was new, and I haven't looked at looked back since. Yeah. And I, I just was like, hey, you might like this because it's kind of mysterious and interesting. Right. Damon and Lindelof. Jack was super into the first couple episodes. You ever uh, watch Lost? I watched the first season of Lost, and I got really excited for the second season, and then I yeah. just never watched it. I think the first three were actually pretty solid, and I hear it turns awful at some point. Yeah, I mean, I've read all the spoilers, of course, because, I mean, I, to thine own self yeah. be true, but, like, uh, yeah, I was really into it. But I, I think that was, like, back when we were very naive about J.J. Abrams and Damon Lindelof. Mm -hmm. I actually, like, oh, I still like J.J. Abrams a lot, Damon Lindelof a lot less so, but... Like, they're really good at creating a mystery, and then when it comes to answering Not the things. questions at the end, you're like, doesn't matter. Didn't you get the enjoyment out of the mystery? Why are you being such a jerk about it? <laughs> Stop looking so close. <laughs> yeah. Well, it was exciting, at least for a while. Only the I really last like episode the, sucks. That apparently. Ben guy, where they just beat the absolute shit out of him for like five episodes, that was great. I don't, that think, guy was a dick. I don't think I was part of the show when that was on. They, like, take him prisoner. He's one of the others. Like, there's yeah, a secret yeah. group. And then they take him prisoner in this bunker, and then they just beat the shit out of him for every episode for, like, many weeks. It's pretty sick. Yeah, he, he needed a beating, really, that guy. Was she played by Evangeline Lilly? No, it was a guy. It's Ben. Oh, Ben! It's Ben! I thought you said Bent. What? Well, ben? <laughs> you know, that classic, <laughs> ambiguous name, Bent. <laughs> Never heard of that name in my life. It's a good one. Benth? Benth. Yeah, Benth. Benth. All right. All right. Take me out of here. Take me to the shop. <laughs> the candy shop? <laughs> it's a snack. I don't want to talk about cupcake anymore. When people say someone's a snack, do they mean, like, I would eat that person? Yeah. Looking tasty. Do you want to be eaten? Because, like, I've seen how that goes down in Attack on Titan. Yeah, I don't think it's, like, a Vor thing. I think it's a normal... Oh. It's, like, a normal thing. Normal cannibalism. It's not really cannibalism. I don't even think it relates to oral uh, oral oh. intercourse. I think it's, like, you know when they say, oh, I could just eat you up. I could have you... They always say that to little kids. That's they, gross. They do say that for little kids. Now that Why I think do they about say it, that? They don't want to eat kids. wasn't the best... Uh, metaphor for me personally crimson clover sign me up let's go i find vor to be a bore yeah i don't really get it because i don't spend that much time on the internet i guess but damage taken negative 84 that's great news i derive no sexual pleasure from being inside of the body of another human wait that didn't come out right i do derive sexual pleasure from being inside of the body of another human. Just not my whole body. That's better. Yeah, I, don't, I just don't get it. Like, any fetish related to intercourse. I don't, you know, necessarily have it, but I sort of understand it. I think. But then Vor, where it's like, hey, it'd be really sick if this, like, huge anime babe just ate me. And, like, I died. I just don't get Four that. Four score and seven years ago. <laughs> I just, I don't know if I fully, am I missing something? Like, is it, is there some genital stimulation in advance of the being eaten part? I'm not sure it has anything to do with your genitals. I think it's just a state of peace achieved through. Yeah, but like people aren't looking at it. It's not like ASMR. Emerging. They're jerking off to it, right? I don't know. Well, I mean, people <laughs> probably are jerking off to ASMR as well, but I digress. It's like a sensory deprivation tank where you can go to think about your genitals. No, I don't think that's what this is. I think oh. <laughs> I think you're you're putting a nice coat of paint on it, but I don't I don't think that's what it's all about, man.
What if the military develops a real sensory deprivation tank that can shoot giant cannon explosives, but inside you can't see or hear or taste anything? I'm just gonna tell you right now, I think that's probably the best joke, at least in terms of like raw cleverness that we're gonna have on the show today. <laughs> the idea of a, a, a tank that shoots things that deprive you of your senses. <laughs> what about the military developing Vor as a concept? See, now that, I think they might have already done it. Anything you think they released this fetish? Yes. That's my, my conspiracy theory for just about anything that captures the attention of the nation's youth and paralyzes them with masturbation and fantasies Vorcore. that are unachievable. I think that that's the, that's the American government releasing that to keep us all, you know, as, as placid as possible. My chat thinks I just wrote an anime. Yeah, you know what? I did. Thank you. I'm glad you noticed. Not just any anime. This season's hottest anime. But then I have to imagine that it's high school kids eating each other, and now yeah. I just don't feel right about that anymore. What if they were in high school, but they were actually immortal beings that were millennial? Oh, like 200 years old, but like exactly. they have to act like they're younger because it fits the plot. Yeah, it's for plot reasons. Yeah, that actually makes a lot of sense now that you say it. I like these knights. You can just combo and chain them to death every time. So the government's behind this stepbrother, stepsister stuff? Um, what stepbrother, stepsister Is stuff? that... So that is new? I'm afraid. I wasn't sure. I, I don't thought know it what was you're new. talking about. So, like... Alright, this is gonna get a little weird. Should I go into this? <laughs> Please do, yeah. You know what show Every it is. so often, in the world of pornography, a new, like, rampage of tons of videos of a particular subgenre will show up. No. And at one point... And I don't particularly find this stuff good myself, but like at one point it just they unleashed a deluge of of water sports videos. What? <laughs> well, because... Like a yellow tide took over the porn video areas. Um... And I don't know what happened. Like somebody flipped a switch that's like actually everybody loves this now. I must have missed that. That must have happened during uh, you know my post marriage existence. A literal torrent of yellow rivers. Uh, and then, so I guess now, like, this incest stuff is, like, super big. Oh, you mean wincest? Yeah, well, that's what we're talking about. <laughs> uh, so, I don't know how this happens. Maybe there's trend setting that goes on in the world of pornography that it hits a fever pitch, and then it, like, tips. Yeah. No, every, every year at the ABGN Awards, they all get together and they say, you know, what are we going to do this year? What's going to be the hot thing? Big titted At the mills. AVGN Awards, they go back <laughs> to the past to play this shitty game. I was wondering. I was wondering. That's what they do. No, don't do Nick the disservice of saying that it's based on his search history, okay? Ever since Cambridge <laughs> Analytica, everybody thinks they know everything about anybody. It's not even like I'm searching. It's just they show up in the feed for the newest stuff. Maybe you just happen to go on the website like right after... Like, what? forgive the the pun, but right after one of the companies, like, liquidated, and then they were like, well, we gotta put these videos somewhere. I, the pun actually made that, so I'm glad. Exactly. Plus, we all know Nick's search history is just, like, 95% Ireland. It's, it's <laughs> a lot of jelly stuff, too, catch him, and, like, catch him dairy. knives, uh, cutting stuff. Um, and, oh, I've been really big into the g li b li p trat mm. my can die again. It's a pretty Lin good video. hates that. Yeah, it's he on... He hates it. It's unsettling, and I think that's what I like about it. She was like, why does that exist? I'm like, that's why it exists. Yeah, it's Because weird. it made you ask that. If you ever show her the John Sockers videos, just make sure to, you know, let her know that mm. I, I've met that man. I think I've shown them to her. I think she hated it almost as much as the July B Live. That's one of those ones you don't want to show it to someone like at the infancy of a relationship. Yeah. This is to test the borders of what it can withstand. Exactly. Like overcooked. <laughs> it's extremely fair. There's some tension in that <laughs> game. On occasion, come on, stop hitting me. What? Oh. The Yanni video just started playing in the middle of me not touching it. What did it say, Yanni or Laurel? Was it, it the, didn't get that far. Was it the light spirit or the dark spirit? It never went that far. <laughs> Yanni. Which is the dark spirit? Laurel. <laughs> I've heard them both at this point. 
And how do you know, since you're using your own moral compass, how do you decide which is the light and the dark spirit? It's up to you. It's really it you that's yeah. deciding. It is. You're not wrong. Yo, dude, I'm getting some sick Arcana combos, and it makes me feel bad for being garbage, but you, like, see a dude, bounce him with the ice, it comes back, and then you hit him with the tentacles. By the time oh. the tentacles are done, the ice is almost good to go again. Have you tried parry with spark explosion? Because that's, like, incredibly damaging. Dude, dude, I, I'll put it in the in the bank for future yeah, use. Yeah, try it out. I, honestly, I could use just about every tool I got available. A full charge spark explosion seems to do a ton of damage. Plus, it's going to be legal nationwide pretty soon. Yeah. For you, not for me. Yeah. I think. Oh, that was extremely painful. I really feel bad, though, for people that, like, it's a, it's legal, and then they accidentally get on the exit for the border, and then they're just like, <laughs> Dude, those... Fucked. I I have sympathy for that in concept, but there's so many signs that I'm like, if you're going oh, to the yeah. border... <laughs> <laughs> Accidentally, you have to be high. That's the only explanation that makes any sense, at least with my negative worldview. Uh, people are always like, "Oh, I didn't know I was headed to the border." Oh, you didn't see the signs for a hundred miles that were like, "The border's this way." They made it sound like you just can't do anything about it. Like you get locked into this this line, and then you're just stuck going. Once you're like on the on the lane, you're screwed. You can't turn around or the cops yeah. get you. And they say if you try to turn around, you get flagged for automatic secondary inspection. It's absolutely true, yeah. But like, Which really sucks if you're like, I just didn't want to even come here today. Yeah, but just don't here. drive to the border. I, know. I don't plan to. <laughs> to be fair, like 99% of my border crossings have used exactly the same route, so like maybe other routes are a little less clear. But whenever there's like uh, a... Whenever it's the Pacific, uh, what is it? just Pacific crossing, and on border security, they're like, well, we didn't know, and we're yeah. totally fucking torched right now. I'm like, yeah, I know. <laughs> Obviously, you accidentally are going to get yourself arrested. That's how high you are. You're going to get arrested for taking oh. illegal drug. The one that they, I think they're talking about usually is the one in Buffalo. Mmm. Uh, that's what I, I, at least a couple of times I've seen them mention is the one that they accidentally went to. Um, and then there's one at like, oh, frick. at the top of Michigan, I guess, also. Mm. That was the one where I saw an episode of Border Security where the dude had an open can of beer in his uh, cup holder. And then it turns out, in Michigan, it, it was actually, at the time of that filming, legal. Huh. But then apparently has since been repealed because apparently somebody sane got into power at some point and was like, you can't drink beer while you drive. Are you out of your mind? <laughs> when I die, it keeps resetting the button order of my attacks for some mm. reason. I'm not really sure what that's about. I might just need to fix them while I'm in the town and then it'll stay fixed. But Wait, I don't have my shit anymore? The ones you buy on the run, I believe, are only for the run. Oh. If, but if you buy them like uh, with the gem, they permanently become available to start right, with. I misunderstood. I thought I permanently had this, like, electric tendril thing. It's gone now. Yeah, live and learn. Oh, stop falling in the water. Why is it worse to drink while you drive than to drink before you drive? Well, I mean, I suppose if you're like, yeah, it's no big deal. I just have one glass of beer before I get in my car, or as I get in my car, just to help me, like, live my life. But I'm like, I don't know. I feel like if you can't go a drive without having a beer, that's a very troubling thing. They used to say one for the road. It was designed to make you settled just so you'd feel better <laughs> driving. <laughs> Our ancestors were stupid. They really had a different set of priorities when it came to driving. I wonder if they would have thought that was fine, but like, no, you can't actually look at the touch screen on your dashboard. That's a problem. Well, we're going through it in BC right now because there's a huge blitz on, like, distracted driving, which is highly, like, necessary, and I appreciate it. But at the same time, I'm like, okay, so, like, one dude picks up his phone at a stoplight, something I actually legitimately never do and it makes me angry, and he looks at a text for two seconds and he's like, okay, I'm good. Versus, like, some person playing with their radio for a hundred miles trying to make sure yeah. they got the station properly. I'm like, well, what's the difference, you know? The drive, like what Dennis always does, that Rob always says, where he, he can't go five seconds without changing the dial. Yeah. 
he'll let three seconds of a song play. He's like, no, nah, not that one. And he'll just keep <laughs> doing that for the entire drive. I'd say that's distracted. Yeah, absolutely. I don't see how it couldn't be. Just, oh my god, it just gangbanged the shit out of me. <laughs> they trapped me in a corner. Both should be banned. Just driving in general should be banned. I agree. I'm over it. Let the cars do the driving. I don't want any part of it anymore. I'm 100% in, dude. You can't get me in a self-driving car fast enough. And then they get to kill all the pedestrians, and the car decides it, so it's not anybody's fault. Yeah. It sounds like perfect. Perfect world. Well, pretty much a dream come true. Why not? Pretty sure I'm going to die anyway. Oh! What have I done? I had a dude walk into traffic the other day, and I didn't know he was about to walk out, and I was on the right side, and he was coming from the left side, and the left side of the street was slowing down, and he came out so quickly that I had to kind of abruptly stop, and he gave me a thumbs up, and I felt like such an asshole, even though I didn't mean to do it. I just didn't know he was about to abruptly enter the road. Mm. Wait, he was driving, or he was a pedestrian? No, no, the, the pedestrian was oh, okay. walking into the street. And he did it very quickly, and I wasn't ready for it, so I had to abruptly stop. I'm so on. But he thought I was, like, ready to run him over or something. I wasn't. I just didn't know he was there. Those are the worst. Cause, like, if you could reason with them, I'd be like, look, man, I don't obviously want to hit you. Yeah, I'd prefer if I didn't, like, ruin my life by killing you with my car. <laughs> yeah. Like, I don't want you to die, but I also, like, there is some self-interest. I really didn't want him to die. I just didn't know he was there, and... Oh! I'm so stupid. Shearing chain? I dodged into the thing. Thundering chain. Earth knuckles. <laughs> There's so many cool <laughs> objects to buy. How is your run going, Nick? Oh, I just lost, so you can change oh, that Oh, dude, whenever. that's sick. Let's, uh... Yeah, I know, right? Come, it is. It's wrong! Right? Come back and play some <laughs> golf. See you soon. Let's play hey, golf. Everybody, here is Rob the guy. Bam, bam, Hi, Rob. Bam, 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 bam. Yeah, hey, how's it going? I want to. I want my own intro song where I have like where I could sing it when I come in. It'll be good. Oh, uh, put it on your phone and then you can like play it quickly as mm -hmm. we start up, as long good as it's idea. not copyrighted. Yeah. Ryan would be very upset with that. I would be like incredibly incensed. If you just came in, you're playing like an Ariana Grande song or something like that. I would never forgive you. Oh, that is, is Miley Cyrus. Jagar yeah. uh, copyright? <laughs> Ooh, uh, technically no, actually. All right. So, because we watched it on movie night. Um, question. Hi. What? Uh, oh, sorry. Hold on. I have to unmute. <laughs> sorry, chat. Um. I, uh, yeah, what golf? Golf with your friends. Mm. Good, that's the one I picked. Nice. Yeah, that's what I had set as well. Golf with your friends. Golf with your friends. Golf with, golf with your friends. friends. Oh, I landed to the tune mm -hmm. of uh, Life is Unfair by the... Mm -hmm. They might be <laughs> giants. Golf is on friends. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah, just the just the end part. Nothing you else. just hit Nothing. a birdie, and that's pretty good. <laughs> You're not the golf of me now. That doesn't really Ooh, work. Yeah, that's, I mean it's all right. It's, all right. It, it needs some work, but uh, oh hey, it tells me it's made with Unity now. <laughs> well, that explains why it's so bad. <laughs> oh oh <laughs> God! Oh bear! What's up, bear? Hey, what's going, bear? All Hi. the best people. Hi. Hey. Hi. Hi, chat. Welcome uh -huh. to the NLSS. Is chat still here? Yeah. Yes. All right. Hi, chat. They're saying Hafu for some reason. Is Hafu ha here? No, Hafu I'm Hafu. Hafu Bear! It's Hafu! I'm, hi, I'm Hafu. Hi, hi, Hafu. Hafu. Hi, Hafu. Hello, I am Hafu. <laughs> Doubtful. Classic. Open parentheses, X, close parentheses, doubt. Got Hafu's it. invited, too, if she wants to play. No, think. never invited. She, oh, at, okay, sorry. It's, I mean, she is in chat. It's really up to her. She was what? playing uh, another... She was playing Slay the Spire a minute yeah. ago. What's Slay the golf of choice? Spire. Golf with your friends. Friends. Actually, I do cool. feel the obligation to let you know we're going to play Jackbox after that. Mm. Oh, yeah. That's like, also a thing. Hafu Rackbox. has been streaming for like 20 hours, hasn't she? Oh, really? 
Just yeah. a normal day. That yeah, happens. I like. I, I, was I woke say. up at, at three a.m. Like, <laughs> I was watching Hafu play Hearthstone at three a.m. earlier. So <laughs> yeah, bit of a long stream. Ryan, you gotta get on that low latency game, dude. I already explained this in a bit earlier in today's stream, Bear. Oh, sorry. I said okay, that you remember when Justin Timberlake ripped off uh, Janet Jackson's breast? Timmy. Do I? <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. wait. I'm, not, I'm not sure. I think you're yeah, remembering on, I that. Think you ripped off her I think you're remembering that differently than I remember it, to be honest with you. I remember that. Yeah. I'm, I'm, Just pulled it right off. I can't invite you. Please continue, you. though. I can't invite you, so I'm going to make a new lobby. Okay. Pull the is Bobby there, lobby. Is there room for me? Please. Nope. Oh, hey. Oh, how's, it how's it going? Hi. We summoned you. Are oh. you not, like, exhausted? Oh, but if you think there's too many people... No, 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 no. Well, I mean, I'm not right. Wait, wait, so. I, it I is Rob's show. Yeah. It, it <laughs> is Rob's <laughs> show. It's a little known fact. It is called the Northern Lion Lab Super Show, but it's owned by Alpaca. <laughs> mm, very true. Corporately yeah, speaking. For business reasons. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's very true, yeah. Did you send the contract back yet? Wait, 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 wait. Ignore <laughs> that first one. Okay. And then the password is... Is it I Alpaca? don't like that what? password. What's your problem with the password? I don't even get uh, it. You don't need to I get don't... it. You just need to type it in. Yeah, I don't... Is it, this it, it starts out as words and ends in gibberish. I don't understand. It doesn't matter. It's just a, no, it's I... a cipher that you use to enter the game. That's fair. You don't need to know what it means. All right. Yeah, it's weirded me out, man. Oh, man, these Why? names. There's some really good ones. Oh, okay, there's the bad God. ones. <laughs> was, I really liked oh, the ones that were God. just funny gibberish, and then there's the really racist ones that really ruin it. Hey, Hafu. Yeah? How was your weekend? <laughs> it was really fun. I went to Disneyland. That is cool. Oh, cool. I heard about that, yeah. I went to LA for dogs uh, prelim tournaments, and only four people make it through, and he made it. Nice. <laughs> all right. Yeah, so it was just a happy trip all around. I really oh. thought that you said you went to LA for dogs. And... <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong? I would have been that? okay with that. To be yeah, honest, yeah, Rob like, approved. A... Yeah. That sounds like a great trip. Mm -hmm. Oh, and I got to meet Jenim. Oh my god, I actually, oh, I went up to meet her with um, Pokemon. Mm. And the whole time, Pokey just talked, and I sat there smiling like an idiot. Because <laughs> that's all I could do, because I was too happy. Like, I don't think I could muster words. I was just nodding, smiling and nodding. That's who wholesome as fuck. Yeah, who did you meet? I didn't hear your name. Jen oh, M. Jen M. She's like my oh. idol. My, she's a uh, beauty and fashion blogger? Uh, you, like you don't YouTuber? remember six weeks ago, Hafu brought up Jen M <laughs> during the golf she segment on the on NLSS? Twitter. Yeah, right. that's that's what happened six weeks ago, and I, it made my month, and then this made this month. So she's just making every month. Nice. I'm happy. Hi, happy. I'm dad, and I'm asking you to join the <laughs> golf with your friends game. Okay, okay, I'm coming. <laughs> I'm coming. I'm coming. Well, you just join golf instead. I mean, that would be easy. What the hell is this? Password. No, one just kind of flew no, it's, everybody <laughs> hates the password. <laughs> and it's a bad password. It's, it's not. A really bad it's a great password. password. Nobody's ever gonna guess it. I, no one I mean, that's ever, true, If yeah. you named it like one space, no one would ever guess it. <laughs> it's also true, but that's my it, favorite anime. One, one space. space. <laughs> one, one space. <laughs> that's good. It nice. totally could be one. Just it might even be one already. Uh, mm -hmm. Welcome, Rob, Austin, Hapu, and Bear. Uh, how are your weekends? Thanks. Oh, collectively Good. great. Yeah. All, <laughs> yeah. One of us All went to Disneyland. That's yeah. true. Let's <laughs> compete for the best weekend. I went. I think in, Hapu won. Wait, yeah. I went in an yeah, underground yeah. cave boat. She was in oh, Disneyland. That was oh, that's cool. really cool. She was at that's Disneyland. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's let called... the court of public opinion decide, which is cool. <laughs> was Mickey Fuck Mouse Disneyland. in your underground Fuck cave? No. Well, See, I went. Neither was Han Solo. Yeah. I want to start that straw poll for chat. What's better, Disneyland or an underground cave? With like no <laughs> specifications of what kind of cave it is, what's in there. I don't want to act like I'm persecuted, but I think because Hafu said Disneyland, it'll win like ninety to ten. But if I said so? Disneyland, the cave would win, <laughs> like seventy thirty. 
<laughs> well, yeah, because we know that if you went to Disneyland, you'd have no fun. That's not true. Have any fun. <laughs> There's I so went, many lines there, man. I went to Disneyland it. last year and I had a good time. There's so many lines. <laughs> were there were there multiple pictures of you with a sour face on? Well, like when I'm going down the roller coaster, I do have a sour yeah, face on. Yeah, because that's the worst part. No, because I'm afraid. <laughs> It's not because no. I'm trying to be a curmudgeon. It's because my brain thinks it. Disneyland. I'm afraid of there's that one roller coaster at Disney California Adventure is actually large. It, it's Have not you like seen the Pirates of the Caribbean ride. Oh, it's terrifying. Boy. Thank yeah. you. It's not a freaking giga coaster where they shoot you into outer space, but it's like a tall ass roller coaster. Forget what it's Dude, called. Space Mountain. Screaming. That's it. California screaming. Yep. Yeah. It was close when I was there. So you don't get to talk then, Hafu. <laughs> <laughs> Have you been to Six Flags? It's oh, like ten no. times. Yeah, I really? would. Don't scared? don't tell Kate that those exist. <laughs> we'll be she down in. Roller coasters? She loves roller coasters. And you won't take her? I take I like her it, every either. time, and then I get oh. yelled at it when I come back <laughs> by chat. <laughs> did, did you have fun? Yeah, it was okay. <laughs> it was okay. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> I have a picture in my uh, in my uh, database of pictures from when I went to Vancouver, yeah. and it's a very rare picture of Ryan just beaming, smiling. Mm. And I feel like oh. I could use that to blackmail you somehow. What's it? Yeah. Uh, what was the context of the? Of the photo? You were standing very happily in a flowery area with Kate. Ah, oh, that was at Stanley Park. Yeah. Yeah. Was it a candid? It's, just, it's or so was it it's a... so off brand. Yeah. Was it a now, candid or a post? <laughs> Let's it, figure it out. Was it candid or was it posed? Uh, it was just post pose, so it was candid, <laughs> but it was unintentionally candid. Oh, oh I see. Why did you call it a database of pictures? Yeah, it's, it's very strange. 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 I keep a, I have a folder with like all the major events that I've gone to. And a, yeah, folder. but like a database makes it sound like you're Batman keeping secrets. Yeah. Yeah. It's well, like you wrote it yourself to store these sorry. memories. <laughs> I, honestly, I just couldn't come up with a better word at the second, so I just said that. Do you have a way to take us down based on our greatest weaknesses? <laughs> no, oh, just Ryan. Ryan. Okay, yeah, fair enough. That's goodness. What do you and guys it's really not that great of a way? <laughs> What's your what's go-to the... face for pictures? I got a, I've got a photo smile. Do you? Toothy smile. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I ha I just do funny faces. I pull funny faces yeah, whenever anyone takes Like 100% of the time? 100% of the time. I think that's true, actually. Yeah, because yeah, true, actually, yeah, cause every single photo I have with you, you're doing a funny face. So yeah, yeah. I, 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 well, I, uh, I'm yeah, very this whole sucks. jumped. <laughs> it went into hyper mode, dude. <laughs> I'm, like, very insecure about smiling in pictures for whatever Why? reason. Why? It's like, I don't know. You like, I feel at least smile, Rob. <laughs> it's not that I'm like afraid of my own smile. It's that, like, I feel just weird. Like, I feel like, like, a, You're happy? Like a demon. No, it's just like, like I feel like no. too narcissistic. Like, oh, what? Hey, I'm pretending that I'm <laughs> more happy than I am oh, right now. No, hold on, man. Dude, I told you this around. You make fun of me for not having Demon one was more reasonable than that. I'm aware that it's irrational. <laughs> but we got the sweet-ass so word thumb. It's so narcissistic of people to smile in photos. Do you guys do demons. the thing where, like, you know, they say, okay, smile, and sometimes they don't know how the phone works, so it takes, like, 10 yep. 15 yeah. seconds. Yeah, and you lose your luster. Well, in yeah. your head, you have to, like, rationalize being happy like you have your conscious <laughs> brain has to trick your unconscious brain your, that, no no this is that. not come on because nobody holds a fake smile for 15 seconds like the light just goes out of your eyes you got to find a way to make it a real smile so you just you think of like a happy moment or something like that or you're like i'm i'm having a lot of fun right now i'm gonna smile really big and then all right look, but on the inside me but you method act photos? You well like, only <laughs> only if it takes like more than five seconds for the photo to be taken. If more it than when it take like eight pictures. Yeah, this is an like, emergency situation where you're dealing with an electronically incompetent person. Straight up, right. Kate's parents do it every time. Like whenever Ryan we meet has for like dinner, a hard limit of like three seconds of happiness. <laughs> it's not three seconds of happiness. It's three was. seconds of like a fake smile. Because it's not like they, yeah. they wait for a moment of genuine happiness, and then they go, okay, just hold that. I'm going to get the camera. It's always like, oh, you're leaving? we got to take 100 photos first. And then I'm going to say, I agree with you, but I just like making fun of you. <laughs> it's fair. <laughs> that applies to, like, every conversation we have. I know. It's, it's actually gone on too far because, like, Chad has <laughs> come over to my side in a lot of oh, no. discussions. 
That's, that's horrible. The, and they're like, yeah. people are really being kind of rude to NL recently about the way he lives his life. <laughs> rude to you. See, this is... <laughs> that's, that's where we are on the We need to be nicer to Ryan. I, dude, problem. I'm being real with you. I'm just, I mean, I can stand up to it. I'm just letting the court of public opinion decide for itself. <laughs> See, my strat with pictures is to not take them. Uh, I think no, over the right. last yeah. seven to eight years... Actually, probably my whole life, because I never really owned a camera until I had a phone with a camera. I think I've taken three pictures of myself ever <laughs> in any context. Three pictures. What? Three times. I don't believe that. Like, and I'm, I'm giving you a bonus because I can only remember two. I, I have more than three pictures of you. <laughs> right? <laughs> I think I've taken more pictures of my penis than I have of my own face. Robert. That's <laughs> I'm just being honest. I'm just being honest about it. I, that wasn't I, something we had to quantify, though. No, Rob. Rob, Rob, do you think you've taken more photos of your penis than you have of your face? Just curious. <laughs> You're all thinking it. You're all wondering. Has Nobody was thinking it, Rob. No, I was not thinking, thinking it. Thinking not it, it no. A single person. <laughs> now I can't stop thinking about it. Yeah, that's all I can, that's all I can think about now. <laughs> you earned it. No, but like I, I, I'm the same way. Like I don't, I don't take. I don't take my own pic- like How many pictures, pictures of your penis do you need, though? Like, how many <laughs> angles Okay, are now there? we're on this route, okay. Stop. Well, I mean, you can't, like, you can't recycle dick pics, right? Like, if somebody <laughs> asks you for a dick pic- I dick, feel like after pic. eight or nine, you probably can. <laughs> didn't notice! I mean, <laughs> you only get the studio lighting at certain times, so you gotta make the best- <laughs> <laughs> I only got this place for an hour. I need as many as I can get. It. I mean, recycling—it's like regifting, you know. Like you're just—you're you're giving out somebody else's blender. It's not—it's uh, not the same. You—you <laughs> you think of it as a blender? Of I all mean, the that's... kitchen appliances you could have chosen, <laughs> of all the gifts that could have been given. Off, why I'm sorry. Like, nah. I mean, <laughs> penis pictures aren't very flattering. Right? Yeah, they aren't. I agree. So the then, penis isn't very flattering. It's that's why, true. Why do you need so yourself? many? Do you just keep them and like look at me like, wow, look at my beautiful penis? <laughs> <laughs> I don't I understand. Him, like, like immediately afterwards. You caught me. That's just my favorite thing to do. I, to be totally clear, I never take a picture of my penis of my own volition. It's just like mm -hmm. a... What? I don't know. Did someone, are, are, you, are you being forced to take these? <laughs> All right, yeah, that's it. Against your will? Holding me down and taking pictures of my penis. That's the phrasing you used. I just mean, I mean to say, like, I'm not just like, oh yeah, let's uh, let's get good lighting on that. Ooh, let's get a low angle shot of. Uh, Dude, low angle's the best. <laughs> Make sure you're using the right lens. Yeah. You make it look like the Dublin needle. Yeah, see, Jess in my chats, he says, on that note, I've taken more pictures of my boobs than my face. There you go. Really? It's yeah. like... I'm not a selfie guy. Like, I'm not... Uh, but I think I'm it says person. something about the fact that both of you are partners who have no interest in each other's faces. That's <laughs> 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 not how that works. It's just, uh, I, like, like all the pictures that exist of me on Facebook are not taken by me. Oh, that's fair, yeah. Yeah. Like, every single one. Yep. One of the I two mean, very few pictures I've taken was for, uh, an event oh, that needed well. a picture of me for the website. <laughs> yeah. I had to take a lot more selfies since I became a streamer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's so now I'm, like, used to it. The streamer grind. Yeah. Oh, I streamed 14 hours today. That's Not actually me. absurd. It's really crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Is there an achievement more than done for that in the dashboard? <laughs> <laughs> it's like too much off of... <laughs> Yeah, but I didn't stream for like four days because I was gone. That's so fair. I was yeah. like having a withdrawal. <laughs> Don't you just miss your chat sometimes? Yes. No. <laughs> <laughs> there, there have been times. Yes, you do. I don't think you've seen my chat, Hoffa. You should... Uh... <laughs> He's lying. He loves his wow. chat. He's he's being playful. Hey, everybody at Last Gray Wolf, you're welcome to come. Hey, oh, tied, tied game, uh, tied for first. Oh nice. my god, I'm third. Wow, this is why. It's because I only play against Ryan and Nick. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone else sucks at this game. Wow, <laughs> I didn't want to go that far Jeez. with it. Jesus Christ. I mean, go, if if go I to beat Disneyland, you, if I beat you, <laughs> then you're pretty bad. All right, <laughs> it's just Challenge the truth. Accepted. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> w D W. I was, Took I was, last I time. Distracted. I was talking about my dick too much on the stream. So I mean, is that <laughs> abnormal at all? 
No. Kind of not, which is this, strange about my character, I suppose. This is how I know my chat. Ryan's chat reacted with a bunch of, like, feels bad man and all that and sad faces, and my chat just said, fuck you a bunch. So <laughs> <laughs> it was really... <laughs> Your chat is the most conducive chat to just go in and disrupt by talking about my homework, though. Like, they're always very supportive when I go in and I go, hey, how do you pass an element from the view to the model in Node.js? It's always one person who's like, shut up, nerd. But then from everybody... The yeah, and that's me. <laughs> yeah, it's usually it's the streamer, exactly. That's all of us right now, to be honest. I know, oh. but everybody else in the chat is really nice. <laughs> from that's the view good. to the model? From the view to the model, exactly, yeah. Oh, because... So you're like you're writing code that's creating a 3D mesh, is that it? <laughs> oh hell no! Are you? you what what do you I'm, mean? Hey, I'm pretty clever, but I'm not a genius. Let's not. It's it's. What a, is the view and what is the model? So it's, it's a web development thing. Let's it's talk about a, Rob's penis. Well, <laughs> <what>? <laughs> I'm no, interested I was, in web development. More exciting than this, to be honest. With you. <laughs> All right. I said to be honest. You guys ever been to a dump show? What is a What's dump, a dump show? show? All right. <laughs> <laughs> Rob's all right is the best yeah, part of it. That was there. Color me intrigued. Uh, yeah, was, uh... All right, so you know how there's like municipal dumps and landfills, and then there's privately owned ones, right? You can privately own a landfill. What? <laughs> Why do yeah. you want to privately own a land? Like you though? could have a lot of land and be like, like um, hey, if you give me ten bucks, you can put your <laughs> trash here. Well, I mean, they, they, I'm sure they have permits and they figure it out. Through oh, the shit. municipality, but they can be privately owned. Ultimately, um, what they do is they'll partner up with a like a pawn shop or some kind of local business. You never and what they'll do is that. they'll have a, a picker that goes through some of the stuff on a regular interval, and then they'll bring it to a place either with or without experts. And then they'll have like an auction where they go through some of the best stuff they find. So that's a dump show. Huh. You guys never been to one of those? No, I've never been to one. No. There's that. I've never been to an auction. I don't think I would. Blink one eight. Now that I know what it is, yeah. they go fast. Yeah, I'm in love with the girl at the dump show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yeah, it's like an antiques road show, but for garbage. Wow. That sounds awful. Yeah. It's not so bad. You get no. to meet some people. Sometimes they have so like food trucks, and you can just kind of hang out and look at stuff. All yeah. right. So two they have things food that trucks. I'm, yeah, two things I'm gleaning from that. A place where people are rooting through garbage is not a place that I want to consume. No, no, they rooted the garbage already. They bring the fines of that rooting later. And then they eat it? They no. only bring the best. <laughs> then, so there's also, there's two types. There's the kinds where they bring the experts and they have it, like, identified at the spot. Or there's ones where it's just sort of like, uh, like in Diablo, where no! you need the identify scroll. You, you get to be the one that finds the expert and you don't know if it's worth it. I'm just picturing a garbage expert like, yeah, it is some quality fucking <laughs> <laughs> Good trash ready. So you, you guys have never been to a dump show. I thought this was a common thing. No. no. <laughs> yeah. I'm How still does that sound too. like a common thing? After you explained it. We had a landfill near our, my old house in Houston, and driving by it was a disaster because it smelled so bad, and it was like yeah. half a mile away. Yeah. They'll put the—it's like a table with a D and an arrow, and it's like dump show this way. I thought everybody had those around. A table I mean, with a D and an arrow. It's like a sign. It's like you just get used to seeing the sign. Dump if show I saw a sign thing. that said D over here. I wouldn't go to it. Mm. <laughs> it's a fair point. You don't know. Well, maybe it's small D. Maybe it's big D. I don't know. Good I have a friend point. named Big D. Big oh, yeah. D docking dude. No, not mm -hmm. that guy. Different guy. Oh, I know. Yeah, I know him too, right? I think I know I him. I think so. Yeah, you might have met him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Drax? No. <laughs> my IRL buddy. You know He's about as cool as Drax, so Drax is pretty cool. He's cool too. Yeah. <clears throat> no, I don't want to go to a dump show, Jess. No. <laughs> Jess wants to go to a dump show? We could probably find one if you guys want to come visit. <laughs> you know what? That actually sounds kind of fun. <laughs> that's one now of those things a double date. you only like you only do that when you're like 6 or 60 right no I've that's something there. your grandparents take you there while your parents are at work we were trying to get rid of an old Nazi radio that my dad had what the what? fuck <laughs> okay Nick now was the radio made by the Nazis or was it <laughs> A white supremacist radio. <laughs> no, it was. Um, so my parents are, or my dad's side parents were German heritage, and before my parents got divorced, they had some crap in the garage, and 
Uh, anyway, he ended up leaving that there, and we had it checked out, and apparently has some sort of origin to World War II. So we were trying to see if we could sell it off for some money. Okay. So then could you make a show called Nazi Regular Structures? <laughs> yeah. I mean, that was totally... It was just a radio, so yeah, probably. Sounds pretty good. I missed that one. What, what makes it a Nazi radio is what I want. It, Does it, have, it like, was owned on? by... The Nazis in it's World invisible. War II. It's invisible. Is what is. Uh, <laughs> yeah, invisible. you cannot see it. Uh, okay. <laughs> That's a good answer, actually. Mm -hmm. It was not the Enigma machine, no. <laughs> oh, dude, that would have been <laughs> sick. <laughs> worth a lot of money. <laughs> I would be pretty excited to talk about that. Less That's excited sweet. to talk about the radio your, itself. Your grandpa was Alan Turing. German Alan Turing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, that's yeah, that's the dumb uh, show. That's the dumb good, show segment. Uh, good show, guys. Uh, Would you rather do a dumb show on. or a cow pie bingo? What? what? I would probably rather do the dumb show. Honestly, they're both fun though. You know Would what? you rather do a hundred more NLSSs or one dumb show? Oh no! Hundred more do? NLSSs because those are fun. <laughs> you know, right. learning about dump shows and cow pie bingo. I I feel validated in wanting to live in cities. Yeah, there's, like, there's some more, truth to that. Yeah, like there's there's no reason that I wouldn't want to go anywhere else. I'm Dude, I know my my grandparents were not Nazis before anybody needs to go well, down that road. I mean, don't take this the wrong way, but if they were Nazis, I mean, they were Germans in the 30s, right? <laughs> They're not alone. Yeah. No, like people like my grandmother's sisters got killed and stuff in World yeah. War II. Yeah. So. I mean, it'd be pretty fucked up if they were born in, like, Ohio in 1963. But if they were born in Hamburg in 1910, it's kind of a different story. I'm not saying yeah, it's I think justifiable. just suggesting that it's common, not necessarily. Yeah, I got Precisely, it. yeah. Mm. Dude, you know, I had an actually ooh, great ooh, idea. Right oh, not... no. Where am I going? I had a, a great yeah. idea completely unrelated to the Second World War. Okay. So we got all this. There's so many podcasts done by charismatic people. It's, nice. There's too many podcasts. Oh. I am. <laughs> oh. <laughs> of course, it had to take a turn before I get to the point. <laughs> but uh, you know what I thought would be sick is remember that television show, The Simple Life, starring Paris Hilton and Nicole Richie. Of course. Where yeah. these two talentless hacks would go around and <laughs> basically like be wow. rich assholes to people that yep. did blue collar work. Why Funny. don't we She's do that? <laughs> Why don't we do that? I was just well, thinking, what if, rich. I don't want well, it. Well, no, 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 I just mean, like, what if we did, like, an NLSS, but instead of it being an NLSS, it was, like, we are hosting a bingo night at, like, a senior's home or something like that. <laughs> um, <laughs> so we call it fucking with old people? Is that what... I wouldn't the, fuck uh... with the old people, I'd just be me. Fucking with Sasquatch. <laughs> so you'd fuck with old people? <laughs> no! <it's... laughs> exactly, yeah. It's a great point. It really becomes a different show when you take the width out of it, though. Yeah. It becomes Dude. two different shows, and I want to like, see both of them. <laughs> somewhat unrelated. Nah. But I've said for years we should do, like, a live NLSS on, like, a panel at one of those. Uh, that like scares me, We were me, trying to though. do a roundtable like that for a while. Roundtable, yeah. you know, every roundtable is as good as any other roundtable. But what if we did an NLSS at PAX and it just fucking bombed? <laughs> That would be so sad. I mean, it would then be legendary as a result. It would yeah, no, like, it possibly bomb. Because this whole Think show is it. improv. Like, it's lightning in a bottle. We have no <laughs> idea if it's going to be good or bad on a daily basis. You just yeah. got to kind of jump in with both feet. Think What's the percentage of good you that, think? Though. should do a panel. should do a panel at PAX. So I'm saying, yeah, man. Like a live show, an NLSS live show panel. Yeah, we can play the life board game. That'd be great. <laughs> I thought that was fun. I did, too. <laughs> I'll be the guy. Chat, what is the percentage of good fun. to bad? Like 80-20? I think it's actually like 95-5. Sometimes we have oh, shows yeah. that I think are horrible, and I would never tell any of you to your face. But then I go to like, <laughs> I go to the uh, the subreddit, and people are like, started a little wonky, and then it turned good. A, -N -A plus NLSS. Yeah. And I'm like, wow, that's... It's like, it's like you guys one are, bad show a month. You're honestly. easy critics. 
<laughs> yeah, I guess we're harder on ourselves than we probably need to be, but yeah, yeah you're definitely yeah, gonna be the hardest on yourself it. for the show. He's really yeah. nice to me. <laughs> like, re- <laughs> stupid nice to me. I feel like anytime that'll, that'll I'm having a bad year. day. Okay. Yeah. Well, let me enjoy this year. Yeah. It's a pretty good year. Enjoy it while it lasts. I cut the road over here, dude. <laughs> they always turn. If we do a live panel. Uh, mm. We should definitely not have any audience input whatsoever. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, <laughs> I don't want to end up with like a dedicated wham situation. Dedicated wham. Yeah, I do not want to be on live stream fails or something. I do. Uh, I do. Yeah, oh, definitely. You would be live fails. No, oh, yeah, I guess that's true. <laughs> that's true. Well, how did they, they get the clip right now? <laughs> Just like fail slash videos. Then I guess. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. You want to write a docket for it? Like, do you want to do golf, or what are you thinking? Just do real golf and bring <laughs> two hundred people. Oh my us. god, that'd be so great! <laughs> Mini golf, golf and they all just watch us talk while we yeah. play. Around. Be cool. be so you know what would be weird though is like, I've never watched anybody watch our show. I have to imagine that at many points during it, there's like uproarious laughter, and we don't have to wait around for that. We can we can talk through it and like build a, like a compound bit. But to wait for uh-huh. like the adoring crowd. Ah! Oh, <laughs> Should have cut a tree right now. Dung. <laughs> I knocked You're a right. plastic. This is like a Rube Goldberg machine. I knocked a plastic <laughs> cup into a fork that then like seesawed up and hit a glass. Nice. <laughs> Maybe it's time really to. Pleasant. There's three dishes in here. Okay, I got a try a plastic utensils. I've got a yes. coffee cup and a <laughs> water glass and a fork that I used to eat a kosher dill. Nice. A what? A kosher, <laughs> kosher dill. Why? You just had a pickle like with a, coffee? Not with coffee. <laughs> just it's in a very general. New York lunch, to be honest. I had a I had a pickle after I had coffee. Yeah, you that's eat funny. like an eighty year old man. What's wrong with having a pickle as a snack? <laughs> it's alright. In general, I mean, like you what? also have had a hard shell taco shell for lunch. That's before. not how an eighty year old eats. It's how like that a was forty year old eats. What? One time, I did eat a hard shell taco with shredded cheese on it, melted in the microwave. Okay, that's just a quesadilla. <laughs> yeah. It was <laughs> not a quesadilla, Hafu. <laughs> <laughs> that is not a quesadilla. Not, not it's not a quesadilla. quesadilla. <laughs> Kate was out of town. That's good enough. I mean, what is a quesadilla really? That's like close enough. <laughs> no, it was a pizza. Is what it was. <laughs> I've had a quesadilla before. I was playing Final Fantasy. <laughs> I don't get it. I don't get it. I missed that one. The spell. Oh. oh. Okay. Yeah, it was like one large bad nacho, more or less. <laughs> it was bad. Like it wasn't like I ate it, and I was like, "Oh, you guys should try it." Did you eat the whole thing? No, I ate like three bites, and I was like, "This is garbage." Yeah, and I got some <laughs> so real food. It. Yeah, well, I threw the hard shell taco in the trash. Yeah. And then you had your morning breakfast of a pickle and some hot coffee. <laughs> that's Black okay. Coffee that's and not. A pickle. When did I say it was for breakfast? This is your. This is the exact example of a logical extreme. <laughs> but for breakfast, oh. I'll have you know, I have been eating Swedish crisp bread with cream cheese on top what of it and some, and some <laughs> smoked salmon. <laughs> smoked salmon, yeah, I know, exactly. And if there's anything wrong with that, then I don't want to be right. <laughs> ah, it's a quality breakfast. I'm, I'm with that. I'm all right with that. Wow, that's a that's a bad placement, Nick. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing awful on this level for some reason. It's okay. I'm, I'm there. I'm the anchor. I called everyone out, and everyone just crushed this. <laughs> you, know, you, you made me, Hafu. You made it happen. <laughs> Forced me to care. Why are you so Ooh. good? All of a sudden. Oh, actually, Ryan. You made me mad me. at myself for not being better. I don't pay attention <sighs> to this game. Ever. No. <laughs> I pay attention. I still suck. I don't wake up at noon, Chad. Didn't you follow the the arc where oh. I bought the wake up light? It fixed my sleeping schedule forever, and now I, I just have a normal. Oh my god! Fuck this level. Teenage when sleep you wake schedule. Up like nine thirty. Okay, it's that's not good. It's not early, but you know, no, it's. I think it's a pretty that's healthy. That's relatively early. Yeah. That's that's early. I mean, that's uh, for a streamer. That thank you. I, that's yeah. the nicest thing. That's so ever early said that he's me. probably not a streamer. He's probably a YouTuber, <clears throat> actually. <Yeah. laughs> I still wake up at fucking six. That's what I was gonna say. Time. Bear's been making waking up at like high school time. I can't help it. Like no, yeah, that's the uh, that's the hour, the ungodly hour. I have to wake up 
at for high school. And I would think to myself back then, no one should ever be forced to wake up this early. <laughs> yeah. But now it's just happening. <laughs> I'll go with it. It's not bad. You guys are all so old. Yeah, yeah, but it's not like a you bad know, thing to wake up. You'll get there early. No, it's fun. Like I like it. It's just it's confusing to me. I'd like to have a good sleep schedule. Here's like, the thing. For what reason, though? When you and this is not um, this is not meant Curious. to call you out, Hafu or Rob, for that matter. But, but it's but, going to. No, so no, I don't. It's if you if you take offense to it, I just want you to know it's you taking offense to it, it's not me being. <laughs> oh. But <laughs> just when? Okay, yeah, that's it. even if like if you have an eighteen hour day, and it starts at. 6 a.m. I just feel like I get a lot more done than if I have an 18 hour day and it starts at noon. And I think what happens is like the rest of the real world shuts down at midnight at the latest, rendering you incapable of doing some of the things you might need to do. When you wake like up at what? 6 a.m., you gotta feel like go to the grocery store, for example. Okay, I don't do that. Go to the bank. Okay. Don't you, go to you the gotta, bank. Go on. When you Post wake office. up at like 6 a.m., you can on. do so much more stuff. You know, again, like bank, what? Bank, post office. <laughs> okay, what's going to the grocery again? store? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are you guys doing at the bank? What's going on at the bank? What the post hell office. are you guys doing at the bank? What's going on at I'm the I'm just post saying, office. occasionally you have to run errands. You gotta mail stuff, or you go gotta mm. go take a take a check in or something. How often you guys mailing shit? When do I'm you mailing, I'm mailing, mailing shit. Just take a picture of your check and it automatically deposits. Yeah, I don't trust it's that. It's 2018. Oh yeah, wait, Nick. You don't trust, trust it. Any kind. Oh, what we don't need the ATMs. <laughs> we don't need to go into this discussion. <laughs> there's, gears, there's gears in the ATMs. They're gonna eat the checks. They're not gonna eat the checks. You can they check. They do eat the check. The chat has confirmed. Oh Someone has told me they've eat, had the checks eaten in the gears. One person said it. Therefore, it's a verifiable oh fact. God. It's true. You should, you take should a use picture the of the check. No gears involved. Uh, there's gears, but they're not my gears. Can we sign? <laughs> yeah, they're mine. They're being ground right Server now. Server side gears. You guys you guys regularly interact with checks in 2018? Yes, yes. I'm do forced it. to. That's the checks. thing is that you can't. If you ever defend checks, people just accuse you of being 100 years old. I mail, like, 20 checks a year to the government. It's out of control. They want checks. I never want the checks. They just give them to me. I don't, I, I don't get I mean, other people Rob, you don't pay, pay me in checks, so it's not really my fault. <laughs> I did, a, I did like a sponsored deal. I, I did a sponsored deal. They sent me a check. Like, that's how it happens sometimes. Yeah, yeah. I love checks. They're delicious. Dude, I'm actually not against. I would rather deal with checks than deal with cash. Because oh, it's fuck. like a bill of whatever size you need. Oh, so close. My oh favorite's my rice checks, but I like corn checks too. Oh. <laughs> Do you know they have chocolate Lucky Charms now? What? Yeah. Isn't oh, that bad. weird? Yeah. Do they make the the like the cardboard pieces into chocolate or what? It, what yes, does it do? that's correct. Uh, okay. Yeah. Who they also have frost incredibly levels? sugary cereal. Not enough sugar, obviously. They, <laughs> they have frosted flakes version of Lucky Charms. Also, yeah, where the cardboard one, pieces I'm, are that. God. I'm thinking like, don't do that. <laughs> I agree. I did not buy that. You know what though? Like, if they didn't, they maybe wouldn't have to make the marshmallows made out of pure hardened sugar. If they didn't make the other bits taste oh. like literal chalk, yeah, yeah but then you guys would. Lately. You guys would just buy Cookie Crisp instead, then. Cookie Crisp. I ate Lucky Charms this morning. <laughs> <laughs> but how? Some... At what time? Uh, oh man, yeah, good question. Probably like seven. Dude, cancels Jeez. out. That's morning. You are, you are an adult. Health, healthy understand. wake up and then uh, sugary cereal an cancels adult out. Eating, yeah. <laughs> cook the dog on like an hour long walk after that, and then I adult. read the newspaper. Cook the and, dog. <laughs> I cook the dog on a, for an hour in a walk. That's crazy. <laughs> What's that? It's tasty. It's gonna get all tough. Mm. That's how I like it. Go too it's far. Slower, you know. Don't make dogs. Don't you guys you ever say... heard of the elemental moose? No. Okay. Um, <laughs> no, let's, not. let's take this one for a stroll. Let's, uh, let's sell <laughs> or, um, <laughs> What's another? Decor moose, I think I've heard it called also. Sure, speak on that for a bit. So, oh okay, God. so you know how a moose and antlers in general, they get like a velvet on them when they grow in, right? When they're still like nurturing the, the horn. Just going to be honest, did not know that. The antler. Didn't know that. <laughs> yeah, no, that's a new I, fact. I, I do All right, so as... in antler velvet. <laughs> as antlers grow in, they have a velvet over the top of them, and as they mature, eventually the uh, deer or moose needs to scratch its head against stuff in order to get the, the velvet off, because it itches them. They don't want it on there anymore. So um, 
what happens is because a moose is much taller, its stature is like way higher than a deer. Sometimes when they'll scratch the velvet off, they'll catch a couple of branches and like they'll make like an almost like a nest or like a little wreath on the top of their antlers. And so people see them in the woods. They're like, is this like a nature spirit animal? <laughs> <laughs> But you you call it an elemental moose, or are there are there moose with like their antlers on fire or something? Well, I haven't heard of that one. I haven't heard of that one. Uh, but this is just like this is one of those like little bits of Canadian folklore. I think is kind of adorable. <laughs> what? I can't. Be I had RCMP man. I know. I knew somebody that knew somebody. He's friends with RCMP. Saw one of the elemental deers. Thought it was a cool thing. Told his friend about it. Got back to me, and now I'm telling you because I think it's kind of cool. What's wrong I with do that? Like the term saw one of the <laughs> <laughs> I was and I, I told this story to Malf and Justin yesterday, but uh, I, I always wanted to like rebuke Canadian stereotypes, but yesterday I was riding my bike and I encountered a delay because there were a gaggle of Canadian geese crossing the road. That's awesome. <laughs> I was pissed. A gaggle? <laughs> Is that actually what it's a gaggle, yeah. That's the proper term. Not yeah, just geese, geese, but also their their goslings as well. And it was really cute because they were <laughs> like they, they still uh, <laughs> they still had like the fur instead of the feathers, but they were like a little bigger. And I was like, "That's like a Aww. tall baby. That's cute. That's so cute. How can you, how can you get mad in that moment? Well, because like yeah. after after a while, I was like, I've seen him. You know, I get uh. it. <laughs> and, but like, I needed oh, to make my. it back. Like, I needed to make it back for the stream. And I was like, you know, I'm probably not going to be late, but you're cutting into my me time now. But it was it was cute in the moment. That does sound cute. Sounds like a good time. Yeah, nature's pretty cool. Parts like of it, it, at least, yeah. yeah. I mean, I hate the ticks and stuff, up. but, like, all the nice stuff is pretty nice. Mm -hmm. But our ticks We should and just, animals. like, eliminate all <laughs> insects on Earth. Not all of them. We need Every those, one. Robert. No, just, like, replace them with, like, flying squirrels or something. <laughs> Not quite how the food chain works. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's, what would that's happen correct. if you replaced every insect with flying squirrels, though? There would be trillions <laughs> yeah, of flying <laughs> so oh many. God. I don't there think there's enough like space on the planet. For, yeah. The jungle would be mad. They'd blot out the up. sun. Yeah. Have you ever seen when I did Cabbage Mark in Skyrim? The whole streets were flooded with cabbages. It would yeah. be I like think I remember that. Squirrels. Yeah. Squirrels everywhere, yeah. Yeah. Just tripping over them. They're just they're flooding through. You guys ever see, like, uh, gifts of sugar gliders? <laughs> What's a sugar yes. glider? Yeah, sugar gliders are great. Oh. I met one at my mall once, actually. Is that a Fortnite? No, we, we actually had sugar gliders in our, uh, They're our adorable. school zoo, so I do know what they are. They run yeah. right up your leg, and they'll jump from your shoulder to the to their friend, and they'll jump into your hand. That's adorable. They're yeah. great. You should, Eagle! You should look at gifts. There's, like, great <laughs> gifts where people, like, hold out their hands, and, uh, and the sugar glider, like, jumps off a table and, like, yep. flies over to them. That's what they do. Yeah. How do you awesome. do this level? You gotta like that. full power <laughs> straight up, up the ramp at the end. I'm getting fucked on this one, honestly. Yeah, no, no, you're good, you're good. As long as you don't go off the back, then just like full power up this ramp. <laughs> Boom! School. <laughs> School All right, okay. I swear so it worked for well. me. I, I did full check and verify. Your ball is different <laughs> physics. You're in the dead zone on the ramp. Wait, I never got bit by a snake. My chat says I got bit by a snake. That was, that was Why'd me. you get bit by a snake? That, that was me at the school zoo. Mm. Oh. Yeah, it's, chat, he's from Texas. Everything's bigger there. They've got zoos in their schools. <laughs> and, like roller coasters. I saw a rattlesnake on my road. That was pretty scary, but it didn't bite me. I just saw it. I ran one over with my bike one time. Oh, oh my that's God. horrible. It Why did you a, do that? Was, was your bike a okay? Mouth, I believe. Uh, it was my bike okay. No, I crushed its skull. And then I oh, it my God. It my what? <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing at that. <laughs> <laughs> it's a snake! Yeah. For some reason, that sounded like the punchline of a joke, and I don't know why. You got a gleeful chuckle out of it. It was a yeah. little disconcerting. <laughs> yeah, that's too far. But... <laughs> <laughs> Would you guys ever eat snake? I yes, eaten absolutely. Snake. Yeah. yeah, I'd eat really? snack. Yeah. As long as it's not overcooked, because it tastes like chalk. I don't want that. Really? I've wanted... I didn't know this. I watched a lot of Naked and Afraid. Dude, we were also talking about Naked and Afraid yesterday. Did you know, we looked it up, here are the four pieces of compensation you get as a contestant on oh, Naked and Afraid. Uh, you Nothing. get, is it $7,000 if you make it all the way, and it's like several hundred if you lose? You get five grand if you win, yeah. If you five. if you make it to the end, which is that's like 22 That's it? Yeah, okay. And the other ones are great. Uh, 
you get round trip tickets to a mystery location, aka where the episode is being filmed, so you can perform your work <laughs> in coach class. It specifically says in the right. contract, coach class. Then you get a one night stay in a hotel in advance of, of course, being left and moored in the wilderness with one it's other person one and no clothes. And then the fourth thing, because the third one was the five grand, is an opportunity to be in an episode of the hit show Naked and Afraid. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Wait, no, there's a there's a fifth thing, and that's if you do really well, you might be in the XL uh, recast. They could bring you back, yeah. yeah. Oh, you get another five grand? <laughs> uh, I don't know if the prizes are the same for XL. It's a whole different kind of show, but the same premise. Dude, that's awful. It's you one of the that. most popular shows in America. The goal isn't the money, though. They want to keep money out of but it. They want why? survivalists. They want to keep but money the out Discovery of it. Channel is making money hand over fist. Yeah. <laughs> from just... Yeah, but it's survivalists want to make a name for themselves. That's why they do it. Yeah, yeah but... like. There yeah, but it doesn't, doesn't matter. It's like if you stream for the love of it, doesn't mean that you shouldn't get paid anything. There like you, you go. Yeah, just roll like, over to any, anything, like, right? Uh, they any, want that PSR, yeah. man. They want to raise it up over eight. That's some, that's some right. uh, exposure, exposure. There's only a handful of PSRs over eight right now, Rob, and I know you can't fathom that. <laughs> what? What are you laughing at? I don't know what a PSR I'm is. I'm laughing at PSR. PSR personal actually, survival yeah, rating. Personal survival rating. Oh, of course. Yeah. Mm. Why wouldn't I? Yeah, you're right. Fair enough. Come on. <laughs> Everybody knows that. Oh, gosh. <laughs> that's, um... Yeah. That sounds... It's terrible. Awful. Don't people, like, lose their jobs from, like, you know, being on a show for 20-plus days? I feel you like you either have to be... Jobs? You, I was Don't gonna they say, lose their, like, everything? You yeah, have to right. be either unemployed or a CEO to take off three weeks <laughs> to be on Naked and Afraid for five grand. For real? I there mean, wait, wait, isn't it, like, 20 days? It. Yeah, 20, Five 22. grand in 20 days is not that bad. I mean, right? like, yeah. Am I crazy? That's if you win. Well, you have to be but, naked I mean, afraid for 20 days. You don't, you yeah. don't go 21, to, like... 21, it's 21 days. Go that's leave, fucking dude. nuts, dude. <laughs> it's They've chose 21 days, so that's exactly how long it takes before uh, not eating anything would mm. do detrimental effects that's to you. The, yeah, three, three days without water, three weeks without food. Yeah. They also have... Um, they do a, like a contestant show where it's just fans of the show go on, but it's only 14 days because they're not actually really survivalists, and usually their PSRs are like four. <laughs> Which is really, really kind of scary. This show a lot. <laughs> I don't know why they have that because really, like, you shouldn't be allowed to do that if you're just a fan of the show. It's really not that much money to no. work no, three weeks of twenty-four hour days. That's like Stream, one donation yeah. on Ninja Stream. <laughs> <laughs> it's like one yeah, second on Ninja Stream. For real. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're doing better than them, I guess. <laughs> I also saw one of the episodes of Naked and Afraid I saw was this dude who apparently drank 12 cups of espresso a day. Have you seen that one, Nick? <laughs> no, the, actually, the dude, I haven't. The dude went to the island and made, like, no effort to taper, <laughs> to taper his uh, caffeine consumption. People were like, how are you feeling? And he's Holy like, I shit. feel pretty awful because <laughs> I usually consume, like, a gram of caffeine a day. And I'm consuming zero, and it sucks really bad, and I'm stupid. I'm like, yeah, I need to see know. that one. Do you know what season that's in? I have no idea. It was, a, right. it was a chubby beard lord. <laughs> <laughs> I'll find it. Just, the headache. It, oh, my God, the withdrawal from I the I can't caffeine. even imagine, yeah. yeah you already get terrible. such a headache from being dehydrated literally in the first day of trekking out. I don't know how he could do that. Actually, can you take, like, can I get, like, uh... Like Motrin, can I bring that with me to the Naked and Free? You, you get one survival one item. Yeah. You can bring whatever you can fit in your ass. <laughs> <laughs> Typically, they'll give you a fire starter and one person, or a machete, depending. And, and uh, you generally want to bring the fire starter or the machete, whichever you didn't get, and then whatever the other item is. Some people bring like a net or like fishing wire, wire or something like that. Yeah, I'm, I'm taking pain medication. A kind bar. Fuck that. <laughs> a single kind of <laughs> the strangest thing I know of that anyone's brought as their personal item is a hammock. But that actually wasn't that strange as it turns out, because you could use it as a net or use the cordage mm, from it. That's true. But Ooh, the lady Robinson. was pretty shocked when he pulled it out. Would you ever go on it, Nick? Oh, uh, no, absolutely not. 
<laughs> I respect people that do it, but I'm not nearly. Do you think you could? I would probably make it about three or four days. Yeah, I'm with you. So on that. just yeah. I, I mean, I would I would make it for like a minute. <laughs> Just if you're gonna, the PSR is probably time. like three. <laughs> if you're gonna leave, you should really leave negative. like as soon as you get there. Yeah. yeah. Oh, so you don't get the parasites. <laughs> well, ra rather than wasting any time in agony, wouldn't you rather just uh, be like, "Thanks for the flight." But your PSR is gonna yeah. go down. Then. I'm gonna yeah, have a true. legendarily <laughs> low PSR. There's no doubt <laughs> about that. Uh, Hoob Hoobinson in chat. I have to call out. Hoob Hoobinson. Hoob Hoobinson. <laughs> was saying, stop like propagating name. the myth that you'll die if you don't drink water in three days. I regularly go four days and more without drinking, and I'm fine. Don't do that. Well, okay, not everyone's a don't, camel. Though. That's yeah, not... why would... <laughs> you yeah. big, dumb idiot. You live why, why are you in, a, doing that? in a sand dune in the Sahara Desert or something? Like... <laughs> You have a computer. You, you probably have access to clean drinking water, I assume, You're a right? sub! <laughs> Buy some water, man. <laughs> well, well, I mean, okay, but does he oh, think no. that, like, well, I'm not drinking water, so I don't have to drink water every day, and he's, like, drinking, like, soda? Because, like, it has water in it, you know? Yeah, what there's the a lot of things that you liquidy. eat that have water in it, too. Yeah, like... You're consuming. What, You're consuming what do we have to gain by knocking down this quote unquote? You're really on trial here, I'm gonna need you to respond. <laughs> I just don't want anybody in my chat to die because they read that comment. It's a form of fasting I do. Shit, that means we can't talk about it because it could be right. for religious reasons. Mm. You're lucky, Mister. Not consuming water is a religious. Reason? You're lucky. I mean, yeah, but that's still like. Uh... If it weren't Wait. for the Charter of Human Rights, what religion? I'd be all up in that ass. <laughs> what religion? Actually, what religion? I'm curious. Oh, GG. <sighs> Close one, one off. Good game. Oh. Don't do I'm it. Waiting. What? <laughs> waiting with bated breath. I am waiting with bated breath. Yeah. I'm. I'm curious too. Like, like, just always. You're not allowed water. Or like like you know once a year kind do, of thing. Do you not allow like yourself the water? Or my religion is DAE atheism. You know what? I'm I'm yeah. cutting this thread. All right. <laughs> <laughs> you you've dominated enough of the airtime with your pseudo scientific mumbo jumbo. You live your life. That's fine. You leave that to us. Yeah, exactly. No water during sunlight during Ramadan. That's correct. Oh, it's during sunlight. Yeah, you can drink it at night then, that sounds like. It's because the sun dries up all the water? I don't get it. <laughs> no, I it's a know. test of your faith, <laughs> Austin. <laughs> <laughs> I actually think fasting is like something, I mean, I never do it. I think it's good yeah. for you, right? Uh, well, I, uh, even if it isn't, I think psychologically, if like once a year you went 24 hours without any food, and then yeah. the next day, you know you'd appreciate the food you were eating a little bit more. Mm. Everything the... I learned about fasting, I learned from Sonic. <laughs> oh, okay, all right. <laughs> the restaurant or the character? <laughs> it took me a second, but then I got there, yeah. That's, uh, next, you enough. have one meal at Sonic, and you really want to fast after that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, we had this thing, right. I think it was worldwide, but it was in Canada as well because we're part of that group. <laughs> and uh, it's called the 30-hour famine. And it was like in, in Ontario high schools, at least when I was there, you had to do 40 hours of community service in order to get your high school diploma. So everybody that had what? a brain in their skull did the 30-hour famine because you got 30 hours of volunteer work for it. Yeah. All you had to do was oh. sit around with your friends, play video games, and not eat pizza. So, but could you wait? <laughs> how did they know that you didn't? Because we we had to stay over like at the gym. Like, oh, I thought you, maybe the parents just signed or something. You <laughs> would like go to school. You would eat lunch, and then after that lunch, you wouldn't eat. And when school ended, you stayed there overnight. And then like the next afternoon, they ordered pizzas for everybody. That sounds That's awesome. Fun. Yeah. In theory, I suppose you could be like sneaking granola bars yeah, or handfuls like, of peanuts, but like it's yeah. all the school administration doesn't care. It's not like it's a crime. It's they're just yeah. no, it's a why fundraiser. Would, why wouldn't you do that though? Well, because you know yeah. it was like a bonding experience to to go yeah, through this little... stress with your your friends, like Michael A. L. Fox, for example. 
I used to fast. He definitely ate. He, definitely he, he ate didn't something. eat. He didn't. Oh eat. no, he lied to you. No, he he didn't. <laughs> that man loves food. So do I. <laughs> Who do you think likes food more, though? Out of all of us? Out of all of us, yeah. Well, I say probably Rob because he's the one that talks about it the most. And there's also a pretty obvious reason for that too. <laughs> for I what? really like food, but I don't like go out of my way to make I, good food. I like yeah, food so I think Rob does win in that respect. I do go. There's out like an way. empirical reason why you like food more. What do you mean? <laughs> he doesn't want mean, to have to make the the obvious <laughs> joke is that Rob is the largest out of all of the NLSS yes. crew members, yes. but he doesn't want to have to say it, and then you ask him oh. a clarification question, puts him on the spot, so I had to fall I, on that grenade instead. I think he has the largest personality out of all of us, for sure. Very that's true. <laughs> that's all I would think. I'm a thick oh. Don't be mean to Rob. What are you talking about, <laughs> you Ryan? That's so in... <sighs> Why are you saying this stuff, Ryan? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Rob. I made that awkward. Uh, I don't care. I mean, I really like food too. I really like food. You really I like ordering. Look like food. you like food, to be honest. I, I don't, but like, man, I fucking love food. <laughs> yeah, I think you like food the least, honestly. <laughs> yeah, it no. really looks like you don't. Not Does because anyone of... else just eat at airports? I feel like. Wait, like you travel. go to the airport and then eat? I feel like if I'm traveling, I just non-stop eat like i just start, oh, as soon yeah. as i hit the airport i'm already like fiending for the next thing to eat and then i'm like oh like i'll order a meal and then order leftovers and snacks for the plane and yeah. i get to the next airport I and i you say you order leftovers uh, i i wanted to ask oh, about I mean, that <laughs> 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 yeah it's a discount you know just whoever doesn't finish their plate you know, sit at the, you don't even need to pay for it. Just sit at the garbage can and wait. <laughs> the dump show. You go to a dump show. Yeah. <laughs> I'm with you, actually. Like, uh, and I have this conversation with Kate every time. If, if we're flying someplace where there's like a meal or two meals on the plane, I need those meals to be doubled. Like, I'm starving every time I travel, even though I'm doing nothing except sitting down and watching movies. I'm not starving. I just like, I don't know, I'm bored. I'm like, oh, nothing to do. I guess I'll eat. I, I, will, like can I will always get a meal at the airport because I go yeah. to the airport stupidly early and have to sit and wait for two hours every time. I yeah. hate going early. I hate sitting there. Oh, I completely I, agree with you. I love sitting But then the I'm always stressed. Yeah, I was just going to say, <laughs> that's, like like the, running. That's, that's one of the least stressful times ever I for know. me is sitting at that airport because it's like, I'm not. The earlier I, you get, the less stress. You're already I feel no there. responsibility no, I, to do anything because I'm not near any of the work, you know? It's like I I'm had complete. a choice. I would show up five minutes before the plane boards. <laughs> Dude, that, 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 that philosophy that makes no, that's the point, though. The philosophy yeah, yeah, there makes me so that's mad wrong. because you're not doing anything important with your time that you're not spending at the airport. How do you know? You don't point. know that. She's because right. it's Rob. Thank you. Usually I see you. <laughs> <laughs> if somebody's like, you know, oh, sorry, I, I, I don't like to be at the airport early, I'd be like, oh, what do you do for a living? Oh, I'm a cardiac surgeon. I'm on call right now. Extremely fair if you're like, oh, I want an extra 15 minutes of sleep. Just go to the airport. <laughs> you can nap at the airport. Uh, yeah. But I don't want to pack. I pack like super last minute mm. and it's always stressful when I go. And I know it's stupid, but it's just how it happens. And this I time, would... actually. Oh, go ahead. No, go ahead. Go. You're, you're, you're still gone. Oh, I just said David. David insisted we would go early, and the Uber driver like went the complete opposite way, oh, went the wrong turn, uh, and it was like thirty early. minutes late. Yeah. I was like, "Wow, I'm not stressed at all. This is so weird. Usually, I'd be so upset." This is what us early people have <laughs> been know, trying to convey right. to late people I think forever. You're right. You're right. I know procrastinating is a terrible habit. The thing is, happen. when you procrastinate, you don't gain anything. I know. You just extend. <laughs> you just extend the period where you have this thing hanging over your head instead of just knocking oh it out God. and enjoying the freedom that comes with being early. Be a great parent. Thanks, Dad. Yeah. That's <laughs> good advice. <laughs> yeah. Oh God. When I went to the airport for my California trip last year, I got there like two hours early. And uh, I had someone else drive me there because it, just, it was easier. And uh, the second I sat down, the flight was delayed for eight hours because of the <laughs> oh. wildfires. <laughs> so that I had sucks. to sit there for roughly eight and a half to nine hours waiting for my plane. I would have yeah. just gone home. Yeah, I would have left. I, I, was I was driven there, and that person went to Uber work. Uber so. home, man. 
I I'm already at the Open airport. Open my laptop. Chair. Oh my god. I, I opened up my laptop and did a Reddit AM and answered like six hundred questions for eight hours. That's, well, that's productive. Yeah. That's really productive. But you could have done that in bed. Nothing about that. Very good point, yeah. What is the longest time you've ever spent at an airport? Uh, overnight? I think it was like ten or twelve hours when I was waiting for Lynn and then her flight got cancelled, so then I got to drive home. Mm. Aww. Yeah, it kept getting delayed and delayed and delayed and delayed. I think probably until two in the morning, and then I finally had to go home because it was canceled. Man. And I put her up in a hotel. It sucked. Is it weird that I kind of want to stay overnight at an airport? Yes. No, I've it's weird. It's to. terrible. It's highly weird. It, it's the best ones are when they pay you. That's a, we uh, coming back from Pax East last year. We got stuck in Minnesota. Cause Did they pay you? Minnesota. No, they Minnesota, didn't. They, huh? they were like, "Hey, call this number." We called the number, and they're like, "Yeah, we're out of like rewards." So. <laughs> like, but they were like, hey, by the way, like, if you want, just come by the office. We'll give you like a pillow and a sleeping bag and you can sleep on the Sick. floor of the Minneapolis airport. And I was like, how about I just get a hotel room instead? I don't, I don't want to sleep next to the freaking Sparrow. <laughs> Neon lights haunt my dreams. Dude, what, what, they're out of know. rewards. That's like running out of digital steam codes. What the I fuck was, does that even I was mean? Pretty I was going to make that joke, actually. I was pretty pissed, but I was also very tired. So I was like, you know what? I'll just hop into an Uber and go to a hotel. Yeah. How was the hotel? No. It was, it was fine. I uh, was reading on the uh, on uh, NFL news that uh, Minis- the Minnesota Vikings are going to host like an LGBT summit for like uh, gay athletes. Well, which is pretty looks cool. like I got to find a new team then. <laughs> but the thing that was funny about it is that I found out that uh, Minnesota was named the gayest state in the union. Really? Wow. Yeah. What's so gay Apparently. about Minnesota? California. What happened? <laughs> <laughs> they, I thought you guys had that all You had it locked down. <laughs> they I want I want I want to answer Austin's question. What is so gay yeah. about Minnesota? Mm. Minnesota. What makes you so gay? It's not like three people from Minnesota. They were very not gay. They were so straight. <laughs> they were super straight. The straightest people you've ever. Who's seen. the straightest person on the NLS eyes? Ryan. Ryan. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely. Yeah, him. Ryan. I think Ryan would flog himself if he thought about it. <laughs> it's, it's, it's okay. I might be the straightest. <laughs> I I'm not homophobic. I'm not like. I haven't seen them. <laughs> I'm not homophobic. I'm just. I'm just straight. <laughs> yeah. And plus, it's probably Dan. It's probably actually Dan. It's yeah. probably. Yeah, actually, yeah, right. yeah. yeah he wears a cross. Yeah. <laughs> that's a good point. It's super straight. What makes someone more straight than someone else? If you wear a cross, you're really straight. <laughs> yeah. What's a cross? You know, like a crucifix. <laughs> What's a oh, cross? Oh, oh, okay, 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 okay. Like the, okay, okay. I understand. Sorry. <laughs> I was, thinking, I, I was thinking it had a different meaning. But... He's always talking about Irish pizza and Swedish pizza. <laughs> and then yeah. then my girlfriend was like, how is that frozen pizza now that you got two kids? And he like shot back with a response. I didn't expect it. That line was extremely good, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> she tried it out on me. And I was like, thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> but she tried eating you out? Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty cool, actually. Yeah. Look at my snack. It. Wait. Wait, like what? What? Uh, did that one fly by me? <laughs> really yeah, yeah, what? <laughs> fly by night away from here. <laughs> it's a good song. Elise and I will vet tweets with each other, too. We gotta make yeah. sure they're on point. Yeah. Asu or Rob, probably the gayest? Mm. What do you think, Rob? Oh, uh, um, that's pretty, yeah. What? <laughs> I was gonna say. <laughs> Austin, would you care to... I just read, I just read a chat. <laughs> that was the one that I saw. <laughs> No, no, not, not you. Just someone in chat. Whoever, whoever said that. I'm a little angry at that. <laughs> what? Why are people angry about that? I don't know. I guess. I guess I don't. Just, someone's clearly behind the times. I think yeah. a little bit on. Got to keep up with your Reddit, guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh man, this plant is cool. I didn't even ever look at it. Oh. It's Rob, not cool. It's scary. Rob is obviously not the same gay. word. He's just yeah. confused because <laughs> he said, "I'm not." He homophobic. would let David Tennant fuck him in the ass, but if he yeah. sees a penis in a locker room, he's offended. 
<laughs> as we well, found out last if week. I saw, if I saw David Tennant in the locker room, he could swing that dong around wherever he wants. <laughs> I'm just saying. Is that gay? <laughs> Super gay. Yeah, it's like it's very gay. gay. Yeah, it's extremely gay. Yeah. Please. I don't it's know. Like, oh. I just like people. But I've never dated a girl, but I think I would. Yeah, I would too. Girls but, are pretty yeah. cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm into them, yeah. But it's just that I play games, and most people play games like guys. Well, games aren't like a sex, though. It, yeah, They're but pretty I gay. mean, but it's like what I care <laughs> about. Gay, right <laughs> yeah, that's true, yeah. That's a good point. <sighs> yeah. They we are all awesome. gamers. I don't know, they, like, if I... Yeah. 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 I, uh, I just don't find male characteristics attractive. Like, but you just said you would fuck and... that guy. Yeah, you just <laughs> said you would. <laughs> you just said you want a dog swinging around your face, Rob. I mean, you right. you do like it. Admittedly, mostly a joke. About the David Tennant thing. But he's a very mostly, handsome man. Mostly, but you said mostly. mostly. Well, he's a very handsome man. <laughs> <laughs> like, there's nothing wrong with it. I don't know. I don't know what would happen if me and Den David Tennant got. It's the, the accent. It's got to be the accent. Yeah, I think so. Oh, it's me, David Tennant. Oi! I heard your you, you responses about me, Robert. He's a British hillbilly. <laughs> is he Scottish? <laughs> I think he is Scottish. He is yeah. Scottish, right? Yeah, I know. I know. He's definitely yeah. Scottish. Yeah. yeah, Ryan, stop. You're turning me on right now. <laughs> <laughs> too much. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I didn't see that part. There we go. Mm. Well, so which guy would you let fuck you in the ass? See, Ryan. I know I'm straight, because when I see, like, <laughs> a handsome-looking dude, I don't get, like... I, I don't go, oh, that guy's hot. I get mad. I go, oh, that guy's hotter than me. I'm like, that's not mm. fair. Save some for the rest fair? of us. <laughs> Why isn't it fair? Well, I mean, you know, he's been working for it probably, but, like, we should socialize <laughs> the, the hotness. Everyone should be equally hot. Mm. So, okay, so you're, like, you're a socialist when it comes to attractiveness. <laughs> well, I'm a socialist <laughs> when I'm, like, below average in a specific category and everything being equalized would help me out a great deal. I see, yeah. You're just a terrible person. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting swatted here. Holy shit. Oh, yeah, these yeah. things, man. He's back. Rob, oh. what about Benedict Cumberbatch? Would What's you let him name? cumber in your batch? <laughs> <laughs> or come in your bumber batch? <laughs> bumber batch? <laughs> oh, my Let's God. just say... Benedict Cumberbatch looked more human when he was playing Smog. <laughs> wow! Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Deep dig, dude. I'm Holy shit. Wait, wait, so that's, that's a no, then. <laughs> I just wanted to know if you'd let him... Or, yeah, I mean... Yeah, just let, let, him let him fur let him, let him you. <laughs> How about Ryan Reynolds? He's very funny. You know he's from Vancouver. It's like, I here's the thing. Yeah. Oh, my God. You know everyone who's from Vancouver. His Twitter handle is Van City. His Twitter handle is Van City. Right That's probably the Can one. Can you follow him on Twitter? No, of course not. Well, then, what the fuck? I'm He's an got like 11 million followers. How do you know right? that, everybody, then? Knows, everybody knows who Van City is. I'm in the. City I'm part of the discourse. I bet you if there's one male thing Ryan's attracted to, it's being from Vancouver. Vancouver. Yeah, yeah definitely. <laughs> no, it's like definitely abs. Because it well, is. Really? Di it's discipline, is what it is. Is when I see someone with abs, I'm like. <laughs> That person's got their life under control. You're not even attracted to the characteristic. You're attracted no, to the No, I'm not attracted to six bumpy pieces of <laughs> oh, flesh on someone's wait, stomach. Wait. I'm attracted wait, to the mind that created it. Fat sacks of milk on the front of women, though, right? Yeah, that's much more. Look, normal. but I, I don't have any control over that. That's just in the genes. <laughs> oh, I know what's in the genes. Uh huh. Yeah. David Tennant's dumb. <laughs> Um, they made this, uh, Rexel was telling me that there's this belt that you can wear, and it works out for you, and it, like, gets you a six-pack. Is it like, oh, that's the electrocute your ab belt, isn't it? <laughs> wait, she, she has me it. and Rob have been talking great. about that for, like, ten years. Oh, oh. wait, really? But does oh, it work? <laughs> okay. I don't know. We're talking about we did abs, a whole so. magic episode about the belt that electrocutes your abs. So, so innocent, Hafu. What? So innocent. Rexel just told me about it, like, last week. Did he show you his abs? 
No, I said I said if it works, let me know and I'll buy one. Yeah, oh. okay, I'm I'm willing to give him the benefit of the doubt on that. <laughs> yeah, until when it works, then I'll buy one. That one you're gonna give benefit of the doubt, but if somebody says, well, "Yeah, I got food poison," it's mostly like, because it's. Well, it's, 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 it's he didn't work I'm out for it. Sure. So. It's because it's another streamer, and I don't want to. Uh, yeah. You know, right. okay. affront yeah. somebody I've never met before who, you know, could be a business partner in the future. You never know. Do you think yeah. there's, like, ab creep the way there's degree creep? Like, maybe a six-pack in five years with inflation will be an eight-pack? I actually think there's deflation. D De oh, my God. So a six-pack turns into well, a four-pack? Well, what I was thinking was, like, if I was 16 and I saw somebody with a six-pack, I'm like, yeah, call me when it's an eight-pack. You know, it's not that uh -huh. hard. Now that I'm 29, if I see somebody with a two-pack, I'm like, damn, dude, what do you eat? Can you do a two-pack? All I wanted was a one-pack when I was younger. I was just you like, if I can just shot. get one of the six, like I'd be fine. Strong yeah. diaphragm. Yeah. <laughs> well, if you have, like, that central line thing, it's kind of like a two-pack, right? Like it's yeah, a little bit. Uh, it splits you there. right up the middle, yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. I thought you could just have the top two as well. Yeah, you, you know, kind of can, right? Central line kind of looks like, you know, at the end of Aliens when Bishop gets cut in half? I yeah. worry that that makes it easier, like a perforation, mm -hmm. that if, like, an, a mother alien ever got a hold of me, I'd split in half too easily. That's true. That's probably what happened, yeah. I but, want yeah. that sexy V that goes down to my junk. Yeah, dude. Oh, <laughs> the cut about. along the your, two hip your hips. Yeah. yeah. yeah what exercise nice. do you do for that? You just you get the crunch a lot, I think. No, you just lot. whittle away at your hips Sex. with a, a stick and a Sorry, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, that's, you know what? This is a good. This is a good little uh, NLSS topic. What What is the thing that you could get from working out that you most want? Uh, I mean, abs definitely. Like a longer abs. life. Tons of yeah, sex. like health. <laughs> <laughs> Putting myself at a lower risk factor for just about every disease on. Thanks, Dad. Earth. <laughs> oh no! I want the I want big male chest breasts. I sit up there and I can walk around. Dude, it's a it's a snowball effect. You get ripped, right? And then you have tons of sex, and that reduces your risk for diseases. There you, you go. Yeah, you get lots of exercise. Yeah. increase your stamina. And then yeah. while you have sex, you eat dark chocolate and drink wine. <laughs> well, we'll be back in three minutes. Hafu, are you going to stick around for Jackbox? No. Nope. All right. <laughs> thanks. Thanks for being here. <laughs> See ya. Bye, bye bye. I'll be back in three minutes. Three minutes. Three she had times. negative delay on that. Nope. It was like the answer <laughs> she before. Was like immediately ready yeah, for it. Yeah. I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> well, now that she's gone, we can really talk about the risque stuff. So right. You know, that's that's good. We've been avoiding it this whole hour. Right. Yeah. That's. Right. I'm gonna take off the kid gloves. <laughs> Hey, Chad, how you doing? <laughs> it's time to get Soul Train. What the ads are running. Are playing? Soul Train? Oh, that's it. Only the Bane members can hear us now. <laughs> oh, yeah, he didn't let her pimp her channel. Wow. What a piece of shit. What an asshole. Garbage man. wonder what channel she is. Yeah. But yeah, abs would be pretty good. I'm with you, Bear. Yeah. Did you use them for anything, or you just like to look at them? You I just like, like to uh, look at them. Hey, you can. Some people can like uh, open a beer bottle in their abs. That's pretty practical. Well, when I said use them for anything, that's not really what I had in mind. But I know I what you mean. Mind. Like, would you, would you, like, lift things? Would you would I lift cut things trees? My abs? No, like, using the muscles that are associated with all of those. Oh, things. yeah. No, honestly, like, it's it's probably a good thing that I am not, uh, like, physically fit. Because I would definitely be that asshole guy who wears, like, shirts that are way too tight or just not uh -huh. shirt at all in the summertime at all times. I've been well, seeing, dude, like... Oh, go ahead, yeah. please. I want to be that guy just because, like, I go outside and I want to take my shirt off because it's more comfortable. It feels yeah. better to have, like, the sun on your body. If you say mm -hmm. so. I disagree. I mean, if I was ripped, I would I would pretty much not wear shirts. 
Like, that's that's just how I was in my life. Just showing off. Yeah. I knew a dude yeah, in high school that got into MMA and bodybuilding, and he was like, he was nothing, you know, spe spectacular before high school body-wise, <laughs> but then he got fucking ripped. Oh, his eighth grade body wasn't spectacular. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying he drastically improved his physical stature after high school, and it was wild because I didn't even recognize him. He lost so much weight. That's pretty and cool. And he became a fearsome warrior. So I think That's when you dope. get ripped, you gotta fight. Dude, when I was like, I'm, I'm like, I, I already know that what I just said wasn't even really a joke. It's only like partly a joke because when I used to work out in like high school and college, like I actually had some like pretty big arms. So I would purposely have shirts that the sleeves were just kind of a little too small, so it looked like I was like bulging my arms out at all times. Well, that guy, by the way, was smiling wrong. photos. Jeez. <laughs> this is why. This is where that comes from. I already know I'm a narcissist. Be a big arms again. It is nice. It's like and, I mean, mine aren't big, but hmm? I like my arms. People could break yeah. chairs over your back. That'd be exciting, right? I yeah. want to wear, like, sorry, that was the kind bar talking. I want to wear, like, an inversion of the way that outfits normally are. I want to wear a sweater at all times, and then short shorts. Mm. Mm. Okay. Like, hardly even shorts, like, a, a thin layer of fabric. Dude, calves and quads, totally fine with. Everything above the waist, and even some of the stuff below the waist, but that would be covered by the shorts. Nobody needs to see that. Cover it up. <laughs> How you so glitz doing? Oh, dude, pretty good. Thanks to the yeah? thanks to the biking, honestly. Nice. You know, doing any squats? Getting a thick butt? Mm -mm. Absolutely not. Thick butt. Squats are um, tough, man. Squat? I hated doing squats. I need your, to do more. Has yeah. your boy put on the turtleneck again? I hope not. He has not, actually. <laughs> Thank goodness. <laughs> yeah, I'm, a, I'm a little. I'm a little self-conscious because we went to get a couple's massage a little while back and uh, oh, my I wife that, told yeah. me that, well, she used to work at this place, so she's friends with the massage therapist. And my wife told me that she said, don't tell him I told you this, but he has no butt. <laughs> 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 like none. And I was like, oh, I didn't know that. I mean, I, I always knew it was little, but I didn't know it didn't exist. <laughs> That's news to me. I've been told I have a nice guy butt. Yeah? I've been told that. A Tell nice me. guy butt. I don't know what it means, to be totally honest with you, but apparently yes. How are NL's knees? They're better, actually, to be honest. Yeah, because you hurt the one after running, right? So now biking, I might think, uh, aggravates it again. Surprisingly, I, I think that my body mm. has finally worked that injury out. I think okay. all of those bad cells are gone, finally. Great. Yeah, it's good news. Now I'm probably gonna tweak it tonight. <laughs> no, well, I think no. <laughs> come back tomorrow and be like, nah, it turns out. <laughs> no, I know you guys wanted me to make a joke about the Gila Monster movie, but like, I just was curious about his actual knee health. Mm, knees up. We had a thing about knees up because this guy kept putting his knees up on stuff when he deliver lines in this movie. Mm. Just nonstop. It was not. It was like is. 20 times he put his knees up. Yeah, he just had to show off his, his knees to people. Ah, uh, yeah, it's in the Discord. Right. You guys want to like get ripped? Yeah, totally. Yeah. You want to do it? You want to do? You want to do like this year? Just like, just like uh, have a year where the NLSS tries to get like. Really we ripped. can't though, because it's Why? not January. No, we gotta we, wait. We should do it now we to be like a, ahead of 2019. Final okay. tournament of shame. We beat the shit out of each other and. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, let's do it. Let's just get jacked, yeah. jacked this year. Yeah, fuck it. I think that'd be kind of fun if we're all just like trying to get as jacked as possible. I bet I can get more jacked than you, motherfuckers. Is it fuck BMI? Yeah. What are we using to metric? I, I Hell no! Shirtless, <laughs> Shirtless photos. Shirtless <laughs> photos. Yeah. Do we each choose a pose? We got to yeah, do the three so. major poses. The you got the chest, oh, the front, down got... arms, up arms, exactly. and whatever the other one. Okay. You got to show off the back yeah. lat spread. Right, I'm gonna, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys like which direction there, you can I'm find Josh the beach. Oh, I know that pose. The one arm up way. and the other pointing. Yeah. <laughs> that way or that way or it could be <laughs> this way. 
who can grunt the best? <laughs> the beach is over there. What clever way you can answer. What that voice so <laughs> This is my jack voice, and if you got a problem, you can pound sand, nerd. <laughs> Every year we got to try out a different thing. Last year we decided to become major rappers in the game, and now we're going to be bodybuilders. I'm still trying that, to do that. <laughs> what, how funny would that be if we were all just like jacked as fuck by the end of the year? It would be fucking <laughs> weird, man. Just ripped out of our minds. Fuck all of guys. us finally close a, together. I'm going on a sick <laughs> test stack tomorrow. Giving myself oh, those nice. anal injections of hormones. Mm, that sounds good. Which one's marijuana, and which one is steroids? Because one of them is droll, <laughs> and I don't, I don't want to accidentally, you know, ruin my diet when I'm trying to, you know, up my testosterone count. Wait, what are you asking? Uh, where can I buy steroids? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> CBS. You, all, you can get, like, HGH is legal, right? Like, you can, Hell no! Actually, you know, that's deer antler, um, like, serum or something. I don't is it, well, wait, is it the elemental deer antler deer? Yeah, it's the no. elemental deer. It's deer no. antler velvet. You didn't understand. The deer can't ever be elemental because of their physical stature. The moose is much taller, which means sometimes the antlers get caught up in the bottom lower branches of the tree. The deer can't reach that. Mm. But good try on the joke, Austin. <laughs> 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 <sighs> HGH is not legal, is it? Yeah, I think it's legal. I think it's no, legal. it's not. No. HGH is human growth hormone? No, it's yeah. like literally why steroids are banned, I thought. Well, We've we seen a bunch of people walking around with like very bond sized heads, I think, if HGH I mean, you just legal. need a prescription for it, don't you? Uh, while HGH supplements are not, however, while it is legal in most countries, it is regulated. Okay. So you can get like a prescription of HGH, I guess. But that's the same mm. steroids, I suppose. You get like a steroid prescription. What's yeah. the Mona Lisa smiling about? She's getting eaten out, or she high F? <laughs> she high F. She yeah. high F. It's F, not F. She's she high, high in the F. It does give you Ninja Turtle abs. It's true. Those turtles are fucking rich. HGH gives you like that abdominal swell, and then your abs go over top of it like a balloon. So it, you're like, man, you're like a, you're like a jack ninja turtle. Apparently, all you gotta do to get that body is smoke cocaine or do cocaine or whatever smoke the hell you do with it. <laughs> it doesn't that make me a better person that I don't understand drugs that to that yeah. degree, right? Come on, give me a little credit there. I've just seen movies. I never smoked any cocaine. That name, the name of that cheese shop you're gonna open someday. From Munda or Michael A.L. Fox's Cheese Emporium? Yeah, I ain't gonna do that. I still voted for Munda. Aw. You saved me from a foot flash, at least. Got a cheese in his name from Munda. <laughs> Nobody That's in this call is saying Ultra smoke cocaine. In hell. <laughs> he just... Yeah. <laughs> Nanny <laughs> state. Vote. Oh, don't don't smoke drugs that punch holes in your brain. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Actually, instead of getting ripped, you guys just want to get addicted to drugs this year. <laughs> that, that's 2019. We'll all get addicted yeah, let's, to let's crocodile. Let's save it for the decline. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when we realize we'll never be in as good peak physical shape as we were in 2018. We'll do a live NLSS on acid. That'll be great. <laughs> um, we'll do one. <laughs> <laughs> what is this will do? What, I don't get it. What am I missing now? We'll do, we'll do Implying it. Implying that we haven't already been on acid for every single episode of this show. Oh, I see. No, I yeah, see. yeah I'm, I'm, I, just, I dropped Next like four line. tabs earlier. So, I mean, As you can tell from my personality, I love taking hallucinogens. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I definitely do not think yeah. it's stupid as hell. Ryan's real big on giving up control over his general autonomy. Yeah, I totally think like <laughs> ego death is like a real thing, and then after you do them, you genuinely feel closer to the people around you. Tell me about the spirit, Molly. <laughs> <laughs> Four out of five dentists agree you should never listen to the fifth dentist, or you should never eat ice. Nice. I applaud you guys for staying so coherent on acid. Thanks. It's tough. Mm -hmm. it's a lot of Most work. of you look like you're melting. <laughs> <laughs> well, that one guy pitched a pitched a no hitter on it. So. Yeah. All oh, right. Yeah. yeah. But that was the '70s, so probably all the batters were on quaaludes. 
Hey, Bear, could you vote? Oh, my bad. Sorry, I was looking up Pirates pitcher Doc Ellis. I'm looking up quail dudes. In the next big sports scandal, we'll find out that NL is trying to buy steroids to get ripped, or Tom Brady kisses his son not long enough. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Poorly written headline. <laughs> Is Tom Brady kissing his son enough? <laughs> Tucker Carlson tells us why. <laughs> I don't know anything about American media. I mean, you pretty much. He wears the bow tie sometimes, I remember. How much is a physical trainer? Uh, like, are trainers even physical? <laughs> oh, here we go. Well, I still got. I still got to talk to Dan about that one. That one just. It makes me very mad. <laughs> Did you guys ever convince him? I don't know, but like five percent of chat is on his side. They're like, in Dan's defense, helium isn't physical. Uh, oh my god! It isn't. Oh Jesus. Hmm. Bear, how much was your couple's massage, if you don't mind me asking? Um, I think it was like 150. That's not crazy. It was like a half an yeah. hour, hour? I think it was 45, right? You know, you could have just picked one of the two options no, I, I gave you. I can't. Instead, uh, I was, was <laughs> instead exactly of making me look like an idiot in front of my chat, <laughs> not knowing the proper delineations for massage lengths. Any opportunity I get. Is there really like there's a debate about gases being physical? No, like, it's not a like real this? debate. It's like the, <laughs> it's like the vaccine debate. It's just the <laughs> oh, dude, well-meaning people and a few idiots. Oh man, oh man, it's just. Hi. Oh, Hi. can we just like? Now, now is like the, people is are light against... physical. No, there's a the question. <laughs> yeah, nay. Well, it's a particle as well as a wave, so it must be physical. I know that there's like you know controversy about talking about euthanasia, but can we just like euthanize the anti-vax parents? <laughs> well, as long as you don't use a needle. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, it's time for wow. <laughs> Bravo. <laughs> a bad place to skinny dip. Baptismal font or the acid that turned Jack Nicholson into joke? Into joke. <laughs> <laughs> Who out of the group of us would know to call it a baptismal font? I'm guessing oh, you? fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> you and Bear. <laughs> Dude, I saw this gif of someone doing a baptism, mm. and the dude is like dunking the baby as hard as you could. Oh, it babies was... deserve to get dunked. <laughs> <laughs> you know so how much they cry? Yeah. <laughs> and then it linked it linked to that other older older video. I don't know if you guys ever seen where the lady's okay, doing like. It's something called like baby yoga where she's just like twisting the baby around and flinging around like it's a cheerleading baton oh man it's horrifying a terrible name to have if you're running for public office tick drickle or not applicable <laughs> yeah. not applicable <laughs> that would be really hard for forms yeah. yeah that would not be a bad name in public office it would just be a bad name in real life well if you're trying to vote for not <laughs> Not, not, not applicable. Then Imagine your you know, name is just right. not. <laughs> Did I tell well, some of us on, might be able to imagine? Was it on this show where I said like 16 out of 20 Vancouver City councilors have last names from A to D, and then one of the councilors who has a name that's like Z was like, "Hey, can we? Uh, I want to pass a motion to like make the ballots not alphabetical because I got a sneaking suspicion that." A lot of the population is really dumb, right. and they just vote for the first four letters, and they voted it down. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so no. good. I, I did read that, yeah. Big alphabet <laughs> asserting their dominance again. Aaron Aronson said it was a terrible idea. <laughs> the worst ringtone for a cell phone. Man yells, catch him dairy over and over, or bleeding goats. 
phone one bleeding. Bleeding. Would... Can you <laughs> hear the blood rushing out of their arteries? <laughs> arteries? Arteries? <laughs> like a <laughs> race in Starcraft. Like a Warhammer 40k race. <laughs> Yeah, it's like a race in Battlestar Galactica. No, my, my brain wanted to say arterial sclerosis for some reason, and it just kind of started. Star Wars. <laughs> it would have been a much different movie if instead of phone home, ET kept saying bone mo or flush me, Jay, flush me. <laughs> bone mo yeah. is is pretty high quality. I'm never not gonna vote for flush me, Jay, flush me. Probably my favorite part from there. I got my prime demographic, which is Rob. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that'll, that'll, that'll always get me. How's your heart, Rob? Is it still burning on fire? No, it's good now. I didn't eat, I didn't no eat more any cocoa? chocolate recently. Yeah, mm. sorry, there was a literal fire burning inside of your abdomen. <laughs> Dude, it's just—it's so funny that people think heartburn is That's actually your heart being on fire. Gag gift would be it's not. Life. Just put it out. <laughs> a great gag know. gift would be an exploding gag or an exploding ball gag. <laughs> Damn it! That's pretty great good. Great minds think alike. I'm gonna lose with a more specific answer, unfortunately. <laughs> That sounds like a solve device. Exploding like if you don't ball suck gag? the yeah, suck the key out of your eye hole, like the ball gag explodes and takes your head into three pieces. Dude, ah. you want to see some saw shit? Watch Evil Genius on Netflix, man. The five-part documentary series making me question all of my neighbors. Yikes! Uh -oh. There's a there's a backstory to this. It's about the dude that. It, like <laughs> 12 years ago, they found, he robbed a bank with this and collar bomb around his neck, and he was oh, like, wow. "Hey, somebody put this bomb around my neck, and like, I'd really like you to take it off of me." And they were was like, "Well, hold up, hold up, buddy, though? hold up, hold up," and then he just blew up. And then it's about like you know, for, forgive the wordplay, but picking up the this pieces. Some things shouldn't be chosen. <laughs> Everyone gets the same problem. Yeah, I haven't finished it yet. That's not spoilers. That's like I mean, ten minutes you know into. That's ten yeah. minutes into episode one. <laughs> it's like a making a murderer thing. It's like a, a true crime, like yeah. S town sort of deal. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh baby. That's nice. There's a trailer for another movie that came out recently. Black Klansman. Yeah, no, I didn't say I, I Black Clam. <laughs> Black Klansman looks really good. Though. It looks Black good. Clan. Yeah, it looks like a return to form for Spike Lee, which I'm very happy about. Bohemian Rhapsody. Yeah, that's the one. The yes. Freddy Krueger documentary. Like that's right, Freddy Krueger. Yeah, that's the one. What Chewbacca has really been yelling all these years. Horribly racist shit. Solo, coming to theaters on May 25th. I'm so fucking hot. Jesus Christ, kill me. Ah! I was trying to do like a little Chewbacca impression, but. Or yeah, just shut good. up! Dude, just shut up. I like the idea that Chewbacca is just like really cynical and just kind of a douchebag, mm. actually, the whole time. I like that he's been retconned into promoting the new movie he didn't know was going to be getting promoted. <laughs> You guys gonna go see Solo, a Star Wars movie? It has like, like a, it has like a seventy-five. Is it on Netflix? The Does buzz it? was pretty positive. I mean, Jess is coming in June, so I'm gonna like, in many ways. <laughs> but uh, so I'm, I'm probably gonna force her to see it. So. Just try to avoid the spoilers. I don't. I don't know. You know, you don't you want to, like, if you don't want to be walking out of the theater and someone's like, I hated it when Han Solo died. And you're like, oh, come on, man. I was just going to see that. I just hope that that movie doesn't have, like, four different scenes of, like, this is how Han Solo got his gun. This is how Han Solo got his vest. Right, this every individual. Yeah. Right. <laughs> This is like, where he got that 3D chessboard from A New Hope. <laughs> right, yeah. 
I don't know, 40% chance is probably what's exactly the whole movie is. Yeah, it probably is. Someone in chat said people will only watch it to see Donald Glover, and you know what? That's 100% what it is right now. And they're going to make another solo movie with him, too, because they know he's the selling point. Wow, good they should just make a Lando movie. Yeah, hell yeah, right attack. Dude, what do you think the odds are? And I, this is sight on scene, that at some point he meets an actual nerf herder. <laughs> <laughs> and then they have a scene where he goes. It probably opens with it. Yeah. Nerf it herder, opens. huh? That's a good one. You guys ready to lose about ten minutes of your life? Nerfs. Great. Sounds exactly like Jim Carrey's Time big gulp one. scene. He's from probably Bruce. gonna say <laughs> that they look scruffy looking at some answer. point. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Rob, do you know how old Han was when he invented the solo cup? <laughs> Yeah, I'll probably see it. I'm basically a sucker. I'm playing a playing big gamble. Like I wasn't really. I was like 30% hype for Deadpool 2. I was like, that's a budget movie theater thing. And then reviews came out, and I was like, opening night. <laughs> Gotta be there. <laughs> Wouldn't miss it for My the world. My friends in that. I know. Zazzy beats. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I hope she has a big role in it. Do you plays, still talk to her? Them. No, no. You should send her a Facebook wow. message, like, tonight. Before Friday, for sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. be like, hey! I, dude, like, so, you know, I, I have a couple of friends who became famous, right? In, like, oh, stuff. we've heard, Rob. <laughs> but the, uh, the thing is, like, if you go to their Facebook pages, it's all just, like, people that never really talk to them. Yeah. Just being like, hey, I saw you in this thing. It's so good that you're just, like, I'm sure they're inundated with that. <laughs> yeah. You know? The worst thing to say when trying to adopt a pet, this one looks delicious, or how long does it take to cook? Oh, wow. Both, Both the same, same area. Yep. Demented minds think alike. Mm -hmm. I'm proud of it. What are the chances Solo is all about how fast Han can make the Kessel run? That's like, it's actually about the Kessel yeah. run, isn't it? How many like, parsecs again? <laughs> it's uh, 15, I think. Hmm. Well, Maybe the run in under 15 An obscure Surgeon General warning. An obscure, that that solo impression. <laughs> An obscure <laughs> Surgeon General warning that most people don't know about. Smoking may cause a serious case of badass, or smoking may cause erections lasting longer than four hours. <laughs> Yeah, both of these. They're not mutually good. exclusive. <laughs> it would just be a horrible thing to have an erection oh, for that long. Yes, Rob's a poser. It was twelve parsecs. Tw oh, oh, Rob! 12. I thought you liked Star Wars. You know, twelve nerd. parsecs. <laughs> I mean, that's just absurd. Who can make the Kessel one under twelve? Parsecs? Mars Guo could do it. <laughs> you think Sabalba could do it? <laughs> yeah, but Sabalba parsecs, cheats. Parsecs are a unit of like distance, not time, right? Parsecs are a fruit. Yep. All right. Yeah. Bartlett parsecs. <laughs> it's also my favorite pod racer. <laughs> Make up a curse word. Frig. Or dilk. <laughs> I like dilk. Dilk's a good one. I like frig because I've been saying it already. Yeah, dude. It's the frig. best. Frick. It's the clearest path to YouTube monetization. <laughs> Do you want, like, I have to ask you genuinely, do yeah. you want me to make an active effort to stop saying the F word on this show? No, I don't care about that. Okay. I, I, I don't enough know. solo content that it wouldn't, <laughs> solo content that it wouldn't ah! even make a dent. Plus, All I right. think, like, if we stop swearing on this show, we lose, like, 90% of our humor. How many parsecs does it take to make an Isaac video? <laughs> <laughs> the worst name for an all-girl band. If another answer references penis, vote for me. Or Snooky Puke. Oof. Oh, damn yeah. it. All right. mm -hmm. Snooky Puke. Jesus Christ. Snooky Puke. <laughs> she probably did that a lot on that show, didn't she? I think that was half of what she did on the show. I only yeah. watched one episode, but one of the Jersey Shores... Uh, he took a shit and his ass was bleeding, so he had to go to the hospital. Oh my god. And then people were like, I hope he's okay. 
And apparently the resolution to it was the doctor, the doctor was like, yeah, stop like exclusively drinking Jagger bombs like all the time. He's like, okay. Oh my god. What the fuck kind of name is Ginger Bellamy? <laughs> It sounds like a porn star. I want to watch a show where Ryan describes episodes of Jersey Shore. I think that could be my favorite thing. <laughs> the title of the most boring porno ever. Life or quiet masturbation after work. Oh, that's my favorite. <laughs> Only Jaeger bombs. I star in that one every day. <laughs> <laughs> Try to get an internut at least once a day. See, if you woke <laughs> up earlier, you could get one in before work and after work. Mmm, that's pleasure. What, your balls can't handle it? They go Not up or hard. shut up. I <laughs> go hard. The good, uh, the good old, uh, you know, five second nut before school method. <laughs> <laughs> the bus is pulling up. I'm not done! <laughs> <laughs> Mom, don't come in! I'm, I'm getting doing? dressed! Oh, okay, I won't come in then. Time for round two, where everything is worth two times as much as that. Just nut after school. One. Why don't you just you do nut on the bus, bus, bus? <laughs> Driver's like, what, what, what? what? <laughs> Gotta get that nut, nut, nut. <laughs> Think I'll stroke it again. It hurts when you go in that hard, and it just gets nothing. <laughs> that is. That's an ego you death. You can't make of jokes on writing there. answers. I was thinking of answers. You deserved some yeah. accolades. I agree. <laughs> what is this prompt? This is from like '96. Get out of here. <clears throat> some kid got caught jerking off on one of my school's buses. That's not. Don't do that. What a strange way to put the pronouns in that. One of my <laughs> school's buses. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't make it sound like you own the school, to be honest. <laughs> it's not it's not good. Don't don't jerk off in public. Just don't jerk off in public. Just, <laughs> Just don't jerk never off. Never jerk off. Never jerk off. Just don't do it. Better name okay, for the human bladder. Pee bag or the Obama defiler. <laughs> What? <laughs> this is the pee tape. Um, oh. You, on the bed. you ever heard of re reverse jacking where you actually put a funnel in the end of your dick and drain some semen into it? Oh! oh. What? <laughs> I wish I hadn't. <laughs> is that supposed to be pleasurable? What? I've heard of it. I'll have to write that one down. <laughs> it's very common. Is that how you got the crusty sock? <laughs> <laughs> did you call it jacking in, or am I losing my mind? No, I wish I did. That was way better. <laughs> oh, I said I said reverse jacking, but jacking in is the correct answer. Beating on. Why are there so many that work well? I don't know. I this is obviously not a real thing, chat. Calm down. <laughs> the first you and second that. rules of Fight Club are don't talk about Fight Club. But what is the 487th rule of Fight Club? <laughs> Repeal two rules for every one new one, or eat ass. Sounds like a terrible Isaac item. <laughs> eat ass? Eat ass? Yeah, eat ass. <laughs> Obviously, that's the one I made, guys. Somebody modded in. Yeah, but no, everybody, get a little ass sometimes. She deserves it. Also, 487th, Ryan, it oh, was yeah. obviously the 387th Ryan, rule. Jesus, ruin the Louise. joke. God Jesus, damn. Ryan. Do, do... <sighs> Just be better! What's wrong with these kids today? They won't buy my two million dollar house, or... Their laurels. Their... Their... Dot, 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 laurels. <laughs> Sorry, their... <laughs> laurels. Their... Their... <laughs> Do not apologize. What be is this? better. What is this Yanny thing? I saw that people talking about well, this. I'm furious. Why? You spend more time on social media than anybody I know on planet Earth. How did you He's not been... experience Niani and Laurel? Niani. I, I don't spend a lot of time on Twitter. 
Look at my, my notification. That's true, actually, because when I tweet stuff at you, you usually don't see it until, like, a day or two mm. later. <laughs> I have, like, there are, like, two times where I look at Twitter during the day, and it's, and both of those times I'm just looking at my notifications. The best name to give an ugly baby. Ah! Or <laughs> Dilk. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so oh, you linked it here, Yanni or Laurel. Tell me what you hear. <clears throat> uh, wait, do I have to watch these stupid news people talking it's about? Just it? a second, in it's a few seconds. It's L Laurel. It's Laurel. Yep, I'm a Laurel as well. Yeah, I'm a Yanni. No, you you're not. Yanny? I am a Yanni. No. Huh. My Weird. sound system says nanny or yanny. <laughs> what would make baseball, what would make baseball more, more entertaining to watch? Spike pits or if everyone upped their mojo? Oh yeah. Spike pits. Not losing 32 to 2. <laughs> Not So what does it mean if I hear Laurel? It means the sound setup is on Laurel. You got your Laurel switch set to on. <laughs> Okay. My rural girl has good laurels. I thought it meant like I was secretly Republican or something. Yeah, <laughs> yeah this is the test. It means you have a 99% of getting early onset dementia. <laughs> Sorry. You know, I read this article like, uh, probably like five years ago. It's like they're using cats to smell people's breath. And yeah. the cats have a reaction to it that is indicative of the person having stomach cancer. Uh-huh. Oh. Now, every time I get near my cats, I'm like, fuck off. I don't need this right now. Stop smelling me. I'm telling you, this... Look it up. It's a real thing. Just wants to let you know if you're having... If you got stomach cancer, man. Yeah, I mean, if you just breathe into the cat's mouth, and then it just uh, nods solemnly if you have cancer. <laughs> <laughs> Like or Iceman. You'll be happy to know I've stopped trying to teach my cat to chuff. I'm not happy to know that, but I'm happy you're not going to mention it again, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> unlike He's not Maver having it. Unlike Maverick or Iceman, a really bad Air Force pilot name would be... I can't write this and yet I just hit submit. <laughs> oh. Uh-oh. Can't say that. <laughs> Ooh, I can see where you can take that controversial. <sighs> yeah, dude. Ooh, yeah. <clears throat> That's what happens when you wake up at uh, seven. I know. Yeah, Getting I the know. yawns already. The <laughs> yawnies. <laughs> you mean the laurels? <laughs> Unlike Maverick or Iceman, a really bad name for an Ryan. Air Force pilot would be Dilk, <laughs> Bin Laden, Ground Person, Crash Man, or <laughs> Laurel. <laughs> You can't say that. It would be a bad name. It would be a bad name. Bad yeah, name. he's right. Ground person is pretty. <laughs> <laughs> I can't fly. <laughs> That's his name. Yeah. <laughs> Crash man is a pretty good one. Yeah. Red one, checking in. Red two, checking in. Ground person, checking in. <laughs> Dude, I would, that's like my dream role, if I ever somehow got to be in a Star Wars movie. I want to play one of the tubby dudes in the cockpit who explodes after saying, like, two lines. They came from behind. Are you going to get that moment where you go, oh! Yeah, that's, I want that. That's the only thing I want. You, you always have to say, I can't shake him, I can't shake him. <laughs> And then the orange light consumes you. Yeah. Crash Man got second to last. Oh my god. <laughs> I voted for Crash Man. Nobody plays Mega Man. Oh, ground person only got third. <laughs> I mean, I think we all know who's gonna win here. Oh, yeah. Well, there's a oh, lot it's... of votes. Pretty much yeah, validates me. Um... Chat. Chat, you're all awful yeah. people, to be honest. Let's take a look at the oh, does it you offend awful? you, yeah? <laughs> Did you get offended at my joke? This is me, I'm Ricky Gervais now. <laughs> I thought you were doing your David Tennant. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is my David Tennant impression. Oh, hey, Michael <laughs> He can sing. <laughs> oh, man. 
He is excited for the new Doctor Who. Yeah, I know you. Oh, no, dude. What actually uh, happened to Ricky Gervais? <laughs> He's dead. I think he got rich and then it's hard to like punch up when you're at the top. So now he's just kind of a dick. Yeah. Because I've seen some of his specials, I thought they were funny, and then I saw some of his tweets recently. I'm like, hey, like, chill? Wait, what did he do? What's he doing? He's kind of like being a dick. Kind of like tweets garbage, and then people go, hey, this is garbage. And they go, oh, did I offend you? I didn't realize it's a crime to be funny. By the way, I have tens of millions of dollars. <laughs> hmm. That's a great impression. Thank you. I did. It felt right as it was coming out. I was also doing a little thing with my head. So he's a streamer now. <laughs> But then bunch. That's <laughs> offensive. <laughs> oh, is it? <laughs> yeah, I gotta look up Ricky Gervais's Twitter now. Ricky Gervais. Computer, search Ricky Gervais. <laughs> Google Assistant. Uh, schedule a meeting with Ricky Gervais. Dude, sometimes I use OK Google unironically, and it's an extreme convenience I, in my life. I use it all the time. You kidding? Yeah. I just I can't wait till we don't have to say OK Google. Yeah. I want to be able to name it. Like I want to call like I want to say like OK, okay Fart shit. Muffin. Yeah. <laughs> hey shithead. What what <laughs> what's the weather like? Hey you dumb bitch. Got hey, him. Piece I mean, of you can shit. <laughs> You can change Siri's name. Why can't you change that? <laughs> John oh, yeah, Legend dude. standing by. Oh, <laughs> I'm with you guys. Fuck Ricky Gervais. He okay, tweeted, time, I didn't hear favorite. Laurel or Yanni. I heard yearly. What a piece of garbage. <laughs> what a loser. Yeah. Son of a bitch. A pretty strong opinion since you only just found out about this a few minutes ago <laughs> yourself. The name of a shampoo for I hippies. I haven't heard it. Good shampoo for hippies or kombucha. Yeah. It turns out if you hear yearly, you're a pompous piece of shit. So, is that really? what you say yearly? <laughs> it's just yearly. <laughs> <laughs> I listened to it. I heard Sam Elliott call my mother a whore. <laughs> oh wow, that's be that impressive. Yeah, that's what you heard. Yeah, I heard. I heard yeah, Yanni. I heard that, yeah. People wouldn't respect He-Man as much if to it's gain his power he held up his sword and shouted, Please stop! Or, All of my power <laughs> comes from HGH! <laughs> You'd like that one, huh? <laughs> Don't hurt me, I'm He Man. Oh, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> oh, I don't like that one at all. Be alive, be alive, Peter, to go my can die. Wait, was that, that, was, that sounded like an impression of, uh, who's that, what's that weird monkey, the Quackian monkey lizard from Jabba's Palace? The Quack. Oh, uh, what? <laughs> Salacious, salacious crumb? crumb. Yeah. yeah, salacious crumb. Yeah. <laughs> a fun thing to do with a bowl of pudding. Use it to clean your computer, or wonder what you're doing with your life. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy! If Herbie was fully loaded, do you think they should still let him drive? <laughs> but it's it, the car has a driver. It's Lindsay Lohan. Mm, Is she drunk? Good point. Yeah. Probably. Well, <laughs> I mean, she's yeah, the load. But... <laughs> Invent a silly British term for pooping. Dropping a Ricky or turd knackating. <laughs> Ricky's a piece of poop. Dropping a Ricky. Whatever happened to Lindsay Lohan, you know, besides substance abuse? I think you pretty much got it. I think they found her wandering Albany by herself, lost. <laughs> oh, she... <laughs> hey, what's that? Uh, what's that sports meme? Or is like uh, she's 
wandering Albany frantically texting. Uh, <laughs> oh, you know, the Mark you know, Cuban, uh, D'Angelo yeah, yeah. Williams <laughs> one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't remember what it is. Dude, Lindsay Lohan is younger than Nick. That's weird. Most people are. <laughs> Well, that's probably not true. Oh, no, yeah, that's not true at all. We'll see about that. A bad place for your rocket ship to crash would be the planet of the grapes or the planet of the ground persons. <laughs> nice, yeah. All right, apparently his name is DeAndre Jordan. D'Angelo Williams is an ex-NFL cornerback. <laughs> you know, I follow that's one D'Angelo sport. Hall. <laughs> Fuck. I follow one sport, the rest of them, I, they just kind of exist in one league outside that I don't pay attention to. He's a RB! <laughs> <laughs> I can't ever talk basketball with any of you guys. It's a bad I, uh, I saw a little bit of LeBron yesterday. He scored 40 points in a loss. That's yeah, what won. that's the Let's classic LeBron. <laughs> yeah. Are you guys gonna follow Ice Cube's new three-on-three -three league? Yep. Uh, I didn't know that was a thing, but now I yeah, will. he's getting the retired old uh, um, geniuses of basketball back together <laughs> to play three-on-three -three sports ball, and it's gonna be very exciting. And it may or may not have something to do with foreign payments and uh, what? guitar. What? Foreign and, payments? Uh, there's a whole scandal about it already. Foreign payments? Wait, yeah. Ice Cube wants to get the Legends of Basketball back together for a three-on-three -three <laughs> league to cover foreign payments, and it has something to do with Qatar. That's what you're telling me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I saw it last night on Rachel Maddow. It's pretty weird. Okay. I'll just let it be. I'm just going to let that one hang there and be fine with it. Okay. There, this isn't the final one. He's right. Got you there. <laughs> Sources, Cuban is beside himself, driving around downtown Dallas, begging, parenthetical, through text, Jordan's family for address to DeAndre's home. There you go. <laughs> Mad-ow lol. <laughs> <laughs> Mad-ow 2018 lol. NA politics. Lol. Totally hey, unsurprising. You guys, <laughs> you guys hear about the net neutrality hey, thing in the Senate? Yay, we did it. Yeah. yeah it's one step cool. complete. The, the house of yeah. one crush it, dude. Yeah, the one step that yeah. was the only one that was possible. Yeah. yeah. Okay, Name the sequel to Titanic if there were one. Well, you don't need the if there were one. Name the sequel to Titanic. Titanic 2, Titanic, or Old Lady Rises. Yo, I did you realize the main characters of Titanic are named Jack and Kate, but the main characters of Lost They're are named, named Jack and Kate. Jack and Rose. Holy Kate is the shit. actress who <laughs> it's got played a great Rose. Point, actually, Kate no, Hensley. her name's Rose. Jack and Kate. What? No, it's, it's they Kate both Winslet. were in a crash. <laughs> 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 It's, uh, it's Rose is the name, though. No, it's Kate. I got 69% of the vote. I win. The real secret to living to age 100. Smoking whiskey or freezing your brain before death. Did you guys see the, uh, that 120-year-old man in, uh, he's the oldest living man in America. And then mm -hmm. when people asked him his secret to living, he said, just don't die. Is like straight up <laughs> full on Twitch chat. Is he you? <laughs> Just don't die, oh. lol. <laughs> don't die, lol. Just build. Just build. Just build. Yeah. Yeah. Like... If he had said just build, <laughs> he, he would have made it... the exact same face as forehead. <laughs> he is only making one face. I saw a lot of pictures. Video game idea. He's got I mean, one you don't have time to make faces at that age. Yeah. You don't you know, have the like, nerves to make faces at that age. I know there are, like, there, there are, there are, it's rare, but there are some, like, older people who watch Twitch. I want to know the oldest meme. Like, the mm. oldest just guy who's just Omega lolling and everything. Is this a sponsored stream? <laughs> <laughs>
Pitch the worst video game idea in five words or less. Twisted Metal, but on foot. Or PUBG. Early Access Battle Royale Goat Simulator. Oh, I'd probably play that. I don't, I don't know if you can just put a dash in between two words and then say <laughs> no, that you it's... <laughs> Better vote for the one that conforms to the rules properly. I guess so. Dude, side note, there's a new Battle Royale game coming out. I know. That I know. I saw I'm that. excited. That medieval but, one you linked? Yeah, Valhalla. Yeah, I don't yeah. understand. I'm not trying to be rude, but it comes naturally to me. <laughs> You're cynical about, like, PUBG. Which I'm exists. not cynical about Battle Royale. Well, yeah, you're, you're like, conflating general. me and Rob right All right, all right, that's yeah. fine. But then he linked us to a Kickstarter of a medieval Battle Royale. It's an Indiegogo. Actually. That's even worse! <laughs> <laughs> At least it's not a fig. It looks yeah, good. that could be the ultimate... Uh, fucking... Uh, never mind. Uh, <laughs> all right, yeah, there's a job, phrase yeah. there, and I, you know, like... <laughs> nail in the coffin! Nail in the coffin! <laughs> there it is! I got it! I got it! Yes! Yeah. How many hey, we'll BRs did E3 is What? How many BRs at E3? Because I, I think like one or less. More BRs than VRs, if you ask me. I hope so. A video sure to get over 150 million views on YouTube would be Chickens Fuck Their Stepsister While Mom's Away or Chickens in Fortnite? <laughs> Done! <laughs> Compelling yeah. argument. These yeah, are both right, good. Yeah. Is the background of the thumbnail a rainbow gradient? Yeah. Because I'm clicking it. With the skull trooper. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I love shitting on the thing that pays us money. You guys heard of Fortnite? <laughs> Dude, we Fortnite's don't have real fun. Game, though. What? Fortnite's There's real like fun. Four jokes. Yeah. You can it dance is. on top of a rocket after somebody shoots it. <laughs> Dude, he's good at that. I, I was playing with Slash and he did it to me too. That's like, amazing. That's, that's very impressive. You can do the orange justice dance? Yeah. We've reached the Dude, my battle pass is almost level 50. What, yeah, what the really fuck? Good. I'm on like 28. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that's Fortnite. Yeah! <laughs> I don't like it's Fortnite. Fun I, this not, not, not you, not you. This is me. I'm making fun of Chad this time so you can get behind it. All, okay. all the other kids in sixth grade won't shut up about Fortnite. There you go. That's the end of that. Got him. Well, Chat's was, young. Uh, Fuck him. <laughs> there. Oh, no, wait. Oh, God. No. Crazy. Probably the worst phrasing ever on this. Thank you. Um, yeah, well, there was that other, there was that news story of, uh, this pitcher who apparently got injured by playing Fortnite and had to sit out a game because he got carpal tunnel. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Here's what you did. The your worst material from which to make a pair of pajamas. Black holes, steel wool, child skin, current Hawaiian roads, or elemental moose <laughs> antlers. <laughs> Current Hawaiian roads. What? It's like I'm a. I'm giving all three of my votes to current Hawaiian roads. It's like a <laughs> magnetic <laughs> field song. That's a fucking 311 song right there. <laughs> like, not only is it hilarious standalone, but like the current <laughs> events tag with it is pretty great. Dude, yeah. Hold fast battle royale. I mean, the mechanics of Holdfast are very bad. <laughs> we need a we only need Rocket League Battle Royale. Now oh, you're speaking yeah. Bears language. A hundred right. cars. No, a hundred balls. That's how many you need to have to make this product. That's my kind of game. Dude, two. Wait a minute. This is an actual game type. It's three v three, but with a hundred tiny soccer balls, and whoever can score the most <laughs> between the two teams in five minutes like, win. Fucking Three. hungry, hungry hippos, basically. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I would try that. I would play that at least once. You don't have a lot to lose for trying it, really. But oh. one of the balls is Thanos. <laughs> one of the balls is the golden snitch. Wait, okay. somebody, somebody in your pie. chat said Red Dead is getting a battle royale mode that's unannounced. Really? Mm. That's the end. Let's see the. I mean, I wouldn't scoreboard. doubt it.
I'd be kind of into that. Oh my god, <laughs> Pern Hawaiian Roads lost. God damn it. I, know, I was shocked. It's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Did I win? That was the best I could do when I came in last. I won! Hey! hey. Right. Oh, so close. Well, let's <laughs> take some time to pimp our channels. Why don't we start with the uh, bear tapping? Hi, I'm the winner. My name's Bear. I'm on Twitch, Twitter, and YouTube, twitch.tv slash Bear Taffy. Come on by. I've been playing some of the new game Wizard of Legend that you probably saw at the top of the show today. It's a good time. Also, uh, do some Slay the Spire, and I do Spelunky Saturday now. I made that a thing, so come on by for that if you're into Spelunky. Nice. Hey, rip. How? About oh, I just you? got a key for uh, Wizard of Legends. Austin. Twitch.tv slash last underscore gray underscore. We're also playing Wizard of Legends. The video game is good, and I'm enjoying it. It's a good the video game. It's a good video install game. install it right now. But fuck the Earth boss, dude. I hate him. Mm -hmm. He's a jerk. I fought yeah, him. I hate him, too. He ground fisted me. Yeah, I got my ass fisted in my ground, dude. It's, it's awful. Uh, yeah, Ryan Hoppo here. Would you mind letting me put my channel? You didn't like it. <laughs> I wasn't finished. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I was finished. <laughs> sure, by all means. Oh, twitch.tv slash Hafu. Nope. Come on by. Try again. Uh, twitch.tv slash Hafu games. Hafu <laughs> <laughs> LP. Twitch.tv slash it's Hafu. There you that. go. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, hi, I'm Rob, also known as Alpac Patrol. You can find me Alpac Patrol everywhere, Twitch, Twitter, and YouTube. Also, discord.gg slash Alpac Patrol. Do movie night every Saturday. Uh, so that'll be a fun time. Also, I'm excited not to pre-massage the poll for the movie, but there might be a movie that is from 1990 that I'm going to be putting on the poll. Wow. Next Saturday. Is it fucking Turtles? volcanic uh, whatever it's called? No, no, it's, it's not... Um, Oh, I forgot what that was. It's like Volcanodon or something. Yeah. yeah it's like a Canadian film about a volcano lizard. No, want, it's, it's another it's another movie. It's a different movie. From like Is it about a lizard? I don't think so. No. Oh. Sci-fi thing. So, seems like a good time. So come by Saturday around 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time-ish. Nicholas. So, are you all used to seeing the flop of hair that usually sits ever so softly over Mario's thick little penis? It's a video <laughs> you <laughs> we know and love. And if you want to hear more like that, you can come visit me <laughs> here on Twitch TV slash Rockley Smile. <laughs> I'm going to be playing the Council episode 2 in a few minutes. And we can talk more about the flop of hair that usually sits ever so softly over Mario's thick little penis. Thick Thank little you. penis. <laughs> that came out of nowhere. Oh, no, it came out of my Mario. Twitter. Yeah. I know Ryan is just like his hands. <laughs> He's clawing at his head. Dejected. <laughs> Actually, I've like very slowly been trying to cobble together a straight out of Compton parody to relate to it called Straight Out of Kotaku, but I can't get any of the similars to match up. That's pretty good too. Yeah. I appreciate the idea anyway. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, thanks for that, and uh, I'm gonna hang up on you guys. And yeah, yeah. yeah. Thanks for having me. Thanks, thanks for man. being here. It was a good time. <laughs> The article is called This is What Mario Would Look Like Without His Pubic Hair if you're interested in finding out more. I All saw right. a shaved Mario. That that was off-putting. Yeah. I'm gonna yeah. leave. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. First, I'm watching this gif of, like, a man crush his own neck by trying to bench press. Come on, dude. You gotta get a spotter if you're doing that. <laughs> oh, my God. It's horrifying. He's bench pressing, and he drops the bar on his neck, and then it chokes him out. But luckily, he's off balance, so he rolls off of the bench. And that brings him back to life, basically. Otherwise, he, he probably would have just actually died. What a terrible way to go. Let's see the replies. Glad he managed to roll off, but hopefully he learned a valuable lesson about doing that stuff without a spotter. Yeah, no kidding! No kidding. Anyway, I'm gonna. Oh my god. 
That's horrifying, man. Where is Streamlabs? Frick. Maybe he did end up dying anyways. Well, yeah, but like not of the not of the bar. I've made a terrible mistake. Eggy boy 56 Demon Sage 88. Ah, not there, Oni Chan. It's here, Oni Chan. Keep going, Oni Chan. Ah, no more, Oni Chan. I love you, Oni Chan. You are mine, Oni Chan. What an incredible series of donations. Thank God Streamlabs was not maladroit when it came to storing those donations. I really appreciate it. Of course, many hardworking Hulkamaniacs out there have had their subscriptions uh, and their names purged. But uh, all the Oni Chans managed to stick around. Incredible. Zengion, Demon Sage 88, Thirst in the Wind, 1997 Marshmallow, Dater Gator, Chief Taza, Northern Lion's Hair with a gift subscription, uh, gift subscription to Ethan FGM, and Northern Lion's Hair with a gift subscription to Steakersaurus, Wiggle Esquire, Brett Va, Aphoristic, Baldington, and Goldfish Vendor. Thank you very much. It's really my bad for not having Streamlabs open in the background, so, you know, I'll take the hit. So, you forgot to open Streamlabs. See, there's a good Twitter meme that only like four people would really get because it's not that funny, but hey, thanks for watching. Kate's not live tonight. Other obligations. I'll be live tomorrow, twitch.tv slash Northern Lion. I don't know what we're gonna play yet. You can go watch Nick play episode two of the council and uh, argue in chat about whether the lady in that game needs to have a dress that props her boobs up to unrealistic angles or if it's a product of the toxicity of the male gaze. Thanks for watching. You can also watch, I think, Mouse playing Divinity right now with Justin. And by Justin, I mean Josh. Twitch.tv slash JSmithOTI. Twitch.tv slash Michael Fox. I'll see you next time.